said to death. You're the guy that's everybody's talking about. That's you know all that's caused all this trouble. And they oddly got along pretty well. Um, the point. Are we watching yeah. the news? <laughs> We're just sitting here watching this. <laughs> oh shit! What? Hold on. Melania Trump was spotted wearing the jacket. I really don't care to you today. That's not true. Well, the New Yorker posted it. No. Yeah. On Twitter? No, they on an article about an hour or so ago. No way. Satire, the Borowitz Report. It is satire. Yeah. It has to be. It's the Andy Borowitz report. Oh, I wish that was true. <laughs> oh, man. How's everybody doing on this day that we're supposed to remember for the rest of our lives? Where were you the day? <laughs> that's At least that's what they're saying on the news. I don't know if that's going to hold true to me. There's other things that stand on my mind, but this is... I, I was know. making supper. That's something that would really stand out in your mind. And I was sure. looking. I was looking for a video, and I saw the thumbnail for a stream that had just started. It said "Trump indicted." It was the, the Midas Touch channel? So, I think Tuesday. I, I think I'm going to write something down. What? What? I can't imagine they're actually like going to let this be a thing. You know, like big. It'll probably be doing be all private and everything, and we won't see anything. Of, of the indictments that I'm expecting, this is actually the lesser indictment. I'm just upset this is now taking away from the, uh, what is it, Gwyneth Paltrow case? Oh, they just <laughs> found her innocent. Did they? The headline just came through. I was like, oh, I wasn't even paying any attention to it. But lots of podcasters and um, video lawyer people were following it. I thought... Why Why does anybody care? I mean, is there any reason why we should be caring about what's going on with, I mean, I'd love to see her sued, but I don't think that would it be. Was, it was just, the funny parts were that um, she was upset the camera was pointed at her. And there was one time she was leaving where, like, she didn't realize the camera was being pointed at the table she was at. So when she got up, she put the folder in front of her face. And somebody had commented the optics of, like, you're drinking out of a glass Perrier bottle in front of the jury. Like we would give you a plastic gallon jug. Like we'd make you drink out of that Miss Bone broth and IV for nutrition. Oh, brother. Oh, whatever she gets in the news like this, at least it does make people go, oh, that woman is horrible. Are you talking about Paltrow? Yes. Sort of. What's, what's on your background there, Rob? What the yeah, hell is I that? I wonder. Is it going to be Simpsons town? Yeah? It's Simpsons. Hmm. I got to look and see who's playing tonight. Let's see. Who are our leaders tonight? Who take us to them? <laughs> take us to our leaders. Oh. Good God. You know, 2024, 2023. When, when it became a new year, all I could think about is this is the year of accountability. I just have been feeling that for so long. I don't I don't know if it's going to end up being, and I'm not just talking about Trump. I'm just talking about in general, there's a lot of people out there who should be held accountable. And I don't want to sound like one of those right wingers who's like, lock them up, you know, but oh God, it, this, I think, this, I think this, we're ready for this, some accountability. This, this some, better some people. be felony counts. That's all I'm saying. Well, it's rumored that there are over 30, over yeah. 30 charges. Yeah. But how would they know that? So there's, how do you- There are people that are close to the case. 34 is the number I heard. That was good. Okay. Yeah, but the way they do counts in that, like you could have like done the same misdemeanor 34 times, you know, and it still would be 34 counts. So like 34 different documents. So I, I have no- you know, uh, assurance that there's a felony count here yet. When will we know? I, they said Tuesday. early, early next week. I heard. Well, Tuesday he's Tuesday. getting indicted, um, arrested, or whatever it's called. I mean, he only predicted it like what two weeks too late. 
I think it's only been one week. Too late. Wasn't it supposed to be this? No. No, because last it's two week weeks. Was yeah, yeah. Him. It was the other week. Oh. But did, yeah, he did, hasn't did you, been indicted yet. Right. Did you, the, the vote was to indict, right? Uh, oh, so who, Tuesday will be the indictment. Tuesday probably. he will get the papers. Yeah. Did you did okay. you see did you did you see his posts from it was either today or yesterday? I saw a bunch of uh YouTube on it where he was like, you know, sweet talking the jury, saying what wonderful people they are, because they're gonna throw out what you <laughs> what Brad did and, and every eighty percent of the country eighty percent of the country knows he's innocent. So nobody he's like, who's nobody who's paying attention is gonna be on that jury. So who's he talking to? No, no, no. He's no, he's talking to the grand jury. Grand jury, right? Because he thought they didn't vote he's yet. Saying so, thank you for right. not doing anything. Right. So he, he was trying to get the last minute in so that they didn't actually vote to indict. That's what that. I mean, or, it would be a shame if somebody took a full page out of ad out in the New York Times. Right. Or 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 this is what I heard. It makes sense. This is laying the groundwork for the conspiracy theory that will come now because oh they said they were going home and they weren't getting indicted and i thanked them and everything and now uh, soros told them to indict me anyway that's what's going to happen oh this this um stormy daniels is <laughs> pictures <laughs> the memes i'm seeing i'm just scrolling on facebook to see what people are saying she's like you're welcome america <laughs> yeah well it would have been welcome if, if, she, if she actually didn't take the hush money and she said it before the election because then he wouldn't have been president well, but nobody thought that was really going to, I mean, almost nobody really thought he was yeah, going to, to be elected. And she was, she, she was a porn star. She doesn't have any power. So of course she's going to take the money. She, came well, to she did. Pop. She's she not a psychic. Alone. I'm not a hundred percent sure he wouldn't have been elected had that come out. It, you got to remember, it was like two weeks after I can grab him by the comment came out. That right. was ridiculous that that was actually. Well, you heard just grab all. somebody by the pussy and you cost you $130,000 and possibly more time in prison than anyone else. So, that's just go. crazy. Has anybody got anything out there that's not Gwyneth Paltrow or uh, <laughs> Trump related to talk about today? I, I, I got flowers. Look at the pretty flowers from my garden. I just. Yeah, like our state is being stupid and they passed a house bill or presented a house bill that I actually remembered the name of. So they what want to. They want to ban abortions after six weeks or wow. at, at the point of conception, unless it's to like the safety of the mother. And we actually read the bill and I kind of chuckled that a living fetal person was used as the definition of an unborn baby but you know you know what they i've been around a long time and i've heard these what they want to do and what they proposed and you know what really gets well, is when it is gone because they say some of the some of these well, well this is ridiculous. North carolina and we had a i mean we had a marriage amendment ban that passed well you got rid of that crankcase you had in there so <laughs> only one term he was in so i mean north carolina can do their they can take care of things. We'll we'll see. I I think so. Kyle's here. Hi, Kyle. Hey, hey. Hi, good Kyle. evening. Do you have anything to say that hasn't anything to do with Trump or Gwyneth Paltrow? Not particularly. No, <laughs> not a big fan what of a either. Really fabulous <laughs> lecture uh, talk you did with uh, Rob Palmer here. That was thank you. That so was a lot of fun. Good. Really good, and we'll share it. Um, somebody put the link somewhere where we can put to whenever we get to the to the yeah, announcement I'll, parts. I'll, I'll but yeah, I laughed several times. It was just fun listening to you guys just talking, and I, you know, I know what you're going to talk about mostly. But as he's covering stuff, I was like, you know, laughing. It did, was did, fun. You didn't know I was going to read the secret stuff behind. No, the, no, the I didn't. And that was really that. good. And then yeah, uh, yeah. that was funny. And then you know the AI stuff, and eh, not so interesting. But the. <laughs> You guys are all interested in that. I'm more like with Kyle. It's it's not going to be a big deal. We'll get over it. You didn't watch Adrian's talk yet, right? I have it pulled up. I just got because she starts with ChatGPT. <laughs> Everyone's talking about it. Oh, geez. Well, my point <laughs> is, is that I thought the I thought it was really interesting. I thought it was fun. Um, I'm glad you it liked was, it. It was a nice talk. Uh, Kyle's got a really fun sense of uh, dry humor there. Yeah, and there was something I, that Rob said. I guess that I'm not Kyle a scientist. Said that you now. missed. <laughs> or do you, uh, you put that, Kyle? Yeah, well, I guess as I learned, I'm not a scientist. 
there was something that Kyle said to you as an offhand statement, mm -hmm. and Rob was talking about something else, completely missed it. And I thought, go back to that. That was funny. And then I think I, I think Kyle said it again. I can't remember what, what it was. Was it mm -hmm. I'm not a scientist? I can't remember. I worked that one a couple of times, I think. There yeah. was something that Rob just totally missed that was hilarious. And I was like laughing, and Rob's like, la, 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 la. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a scientist, but I play one online. No, that wasn't it. It was something else. Hi, Cindy. Cindy's back. Where have you been, girl? Oh, in a photography class. Well, whatever. We've been over here having a good time. You should be over here with us. Forget <laughs> photography. Just, just that, skip that. that, that she was researching nowhere. a trivia category in photography. Ooh, yeah, now that might be office. interesting. Well, that would be good with you, like on, you her, on the team, office, right, you know? Susan? Yeah, I know. What was that, Rob? So I think that like would be good. Make... Oh, you say Bob or Rob? Rob, said, but I, Bob said it's not like you can make a living after out of it. I know where he's going with that, but I didn't hear Rob. What did you say? Well, I just said that would be a smart thing to do since you would be on her team when the. I don't know anything about team. photography. Well, okay. People, people, what what is wrong with you people? I I it was a baby photographer i know all about taking pictures of babies so i don't know anything about photography. that's a very specific trivia category taking pictures of babies and, and, and i don't mean you know what what works best going <laughs> or and where and where uh, do we find which is the better language which language yeah, is yeah, better yeah, which is going to invoke a smile and how you mm. could get their attention which one is better <laughs> uh you, you didn't you didn't take any of those dead fetus photos that the pro-life people use no you? thank oh, thank good. you no i didn't Hello, I, I just i don't know if i, I have respect you no i no i didn't did have you any see either. the picture of the pope in the puffy jacket i um, saw that but as a thumbnail and they said how can we fall for these and i'm like and i i, I didn't fall for it. it i thought it was real i thought it was real and it I looked good it, it, looked, it looked damn good if but he doesn't have a jacket that? like that he should get one yeah, he, he's he in should. he's in the hospital, isn't he? What the Pope? Yeah, yeah. The Pope uh, he's in the uh, hospital. no, come on, no, don't don't talk about the Pope. We can't have another conclave or anything like that. I don't know. Can he I... just lay on hands and? Oh my God! Some of these photos people are sharing are just awful. Have I you seen the one of feet anymore? In jumpsuits making out. That one. Yeah, yeah, out. that one. Robin just shared. I yeah. It's... What site are you on? Just, I just happened to glance up on my Facebook. You got bad stuff on Facebook? Mine's pretty PG. Well, this was Robin Welsh just put it up, and then there's somebody else. But I don't, I, oh. I'm like, you there's guys, I don't want to see any virtual challenge where you can run up the uh, elevation of Mordor and run from the Shire, like you do the whole Fellowship of the Ring tour. <laughs> Could happen. Yeah, Carolyn, for that. we're having an ant. Do not talk about Trump or Gwyneth Paltrow moment. Do you have anything to share? We like, now. I ain't got nothing to talk about it. We can talk about the statue of David's penis and how that is bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, this world. Oh my god. I, I had um I shared a meme that I thought was hilarious the other day <laughs> with someone put a pink dress on David. So I thought that was oh great. I did see that on your feed. That That's was, right. They turned him I, in the Chiquita banana lady. I thought that was hilarious. Oh may the right head and flow because David is now trans. Yeah. Oh, but did now, somebody knock the dong off? Is that what happened? No, um, um a uh, principal got fired for allowing there to be a lesson on a naked statue. Because they, they didn't it, warn the parents. They warn the parents about yeah, they call a very the, tiny marble penis. In art class. Yeah. yeah. They called it porn. It was <laughs> sixth grade. Oh, my God. Do you know the little boys don't know that's there? <laughs> they never they haven't that. figured out how to... <clears throat> how to get around the parental controls on the internet truly they don't know how to do that and the, the little oh, girls boy. the little girls is like that's it you know, what was i worried about uh, <laughs> big fucking deal yeah of course we'll see i don't know but anyway oh look at a kitty there's a kitty oh, look at Wait, kitty. oh a yeah big, that's a big oh, cat God. that cat is needing carl you didn't chase a kitty around i got a kitty that big too oh is she baking biscuits oh 
No, that kid. I did. Kid. She gets plenty of exercise. Have... Every morning we play fetch. Wow. You play uh, fetch? Yeah. Really? You fetch for the cat? You fetch for the cat, yeah. No, I, I throw her <laughs> ball, she runs <laughs> yeah. and gets it, she brings it back. I throw Jack the ball, does... she runs and gets it, brings yeah. it back. Really? Yeah, Jack, Jack uh, brings yeah. it right yeah. back to me. Or does yeah. it... Uh, or, I have, does the cat, or does the cat fetch a dog? <laughs> I, I, Carl, I have a hard time believing your cat is fetching a ball. Yeah, I want to see videos. I, I had a cat that would fetch a rubber videos band. Videos, or it doesn't happen. Would fetch a what? Rubber oh, band. I, I have any video I of her fetching. I rubber band off my finger. Mm, and that's suspicious. And yeah. I've seen him take the rubber band and sit and grab it and then roll around on the floor with it for a while or like a... No, she'd bring it back. If, Jack, I had, if I had a cat mouse, who could fetch a ball, I would take videos, Carl. Then, then, his uh, favorite little mouse, he actually will come back and he puts it right at my foot until I throw it again. Really? Yeah. I've never had a cat that did that for me. But my, well, my cat, cat is weird. My I, cat brings I, toys to me when I'm asleep in bed. He wants me to play with them when I'm oh, asleep. Yeah. Does he put them on your face? No, he doesn't put them on the face, but he, he'll put them up on the bed and I'll find them there in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been a party on my bed when I was asleep. <laughs> no dead mice to uh, his gifts. <laughs> yes, and any no hers is an indoor cat, right? Me, mine. Yeah. Those aren't mutually yeah. exclusive propositions. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ha I had once two uh, one dead mouse with my two cats uh, in the middle of the living room one day, and they're not outdoor cats. Yep, mine but are indoor, and when I lived in upstate New York, I would get presents. Because uh, those things can get in the house. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like raccoons. I, yeah. My, yeah. My, grandmother, <laughs> my grandmother had a cat that would catch earthworms and bring them in and lay them. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, that's that's better than snakes. Than snakes. I How do you catch an earthworm? They don't move very fast. It's mushy. That's like the well, definition of an outdoor cat. Why are you going it was to a low-achieving cat, you know. Our cats, our cats have brought stuff in for years until recently. They don't, they're not hunting anymore, but oh my gosh, Hamilton was bringing in something almost every day and you could, you could hear him instead of his normal meow, he'd be like, yeah. yeah, it's a different meow. Like, yeah. what is that noise? Hi, Ron. My, my previous voice. cat uh, would bring mice up into the bedroom, but I'm pretty sure that she didn't catch them because they were still in the traps. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I would find a mouse in a trap sitting on the bedroom floor. So basically, she found the the, the sprung trap in the basement and brought it upstairs. So yeah. didn't didn't you worry about the cat getting its you know plus smashed in the in the trap? Well, the trap is sitting on top of a vent in the ceiling. When it springs, it tends to flip off the trap and land on the floor. But the cat mm. can't there get to okay. that. Yeah, but it's already yeah. been sprung. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, I don't have any video of, of this cat playing, but I do have uh, a video of her sister playing, helping herself to toys. Uh, what did she do? Ooh. Oh, there you go. Oh, you keep the toys in a plastic thing that's just going to go off the counter. <gasps> Ooh. It's like like the raptors in Jurassic Park. Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Wow. Oh. Oh, oh, what's the oh the little blue? Oh yeah, that goes around the milk cart. Yep. Milk crate uh, thing. Milk jug. Get that smart. She just got that out. Get that smart. Oh, Look yeah. at that. That's a smart <clears throat> kitty. Find a good one. Mark. Looking good. But yeah, cats can be pretty smart. And as we my mom had a cat when she was a kid. You learned how to use the toilet. Well, I yeah. taught my cats how to do that too, and they've mostly forgotten. But when they were young, we we spent an awful lot of time trying to get them to do it. We One would do it. We figured out he was using the toilet because we just stopped using a box. Well, no, he I, kept, I he jumped you know, down. If he, that's well, it was like a wild. You train, you train him to do it. Yeah, there's a kit you can buy that you put over the toilet and you put some litter in there for them. I had a friend that taught her cat how to do it. And in the back, guest bathroom, like the trays get smaller and smaller till they just go. 
and that he had put an empty it's over now, roll, so paper just, roll holder chickens. so when the cat was done going the back yeah. end, he could paw at it and finish yeah with well, this yeah. this cat was not trained it it was a, a kitten they found this was my mom and her sisters when they were a kid they found a kitten i guess they didn't set out a litter box for it and it was just wondering where to go and it saw them using the toilet and so it started climbing up on the toilet and just position itself so everything would go in the toilet that way just, this is slightly more slightly more interesting than our it, talk about well, how we were talking about we're in the final we're like in the final match of the science clash of science saves it's down to fire and chemistry oh you I, know by the way the, the, all right no so i didn't go back me. and look after i was listening to this I've give it up YouTube on video. It. but one of the like the, they were talking about how important the washing machine is and oh you know, we, where, were, where were they talking about that like, on... like and i'll bet that was not in in the list right because no. they, they said people used to spend women oh that was novella before. saying that like today, half of their wasn't it? yes that's right half of their freaking lives doing laundry yeah and that's like and i'll bet yeah. that wasn't even in the list and yeah yeah, that, that yeah, was yeah there's this there's this video by hans rosslin the magic washing machine. Yes. Hmm? <laughs> Have you? But yeah. if it's chemistry versus fire, you could just argue fire is a subset of chemistry. Yeah. Good point. It's just a weird discussion. I absolutely agree. You, Jane, you I love that, your new house. Everyone. That is gorgeous. Even an advancement because it's like just there. That is really pretty. Yeah, I wanted to sit by that window and just, yeah, that's gorgeous. I think what's in your wallpaper there? Are you at the are you at Disneyland and that's the haunted uh man? Good. Uh, I think it might be. At least Richard's at my house. I have different flowers out right now. Hello, Leonard. Gee. Hi, Richard, Jamie. Richard Jamie, Harris. do we survive the I, night? Does does the society still keep going? To at least yeah, society keeps going. I mean, there's nothing better than waking up in the morning. The first thing you see is Trump getting indicted. Yes. Oh, that's right. You just we're now not, are waking we're not up. We're not allowed huh? to talk about that anymore. No, we can't talk about it currently. Just, just woke up and I saw the news. It's only been out for a few hours. Yeah. I just I, happened to see it too recently. Just I, like I had the idea, which I thought would be good, but really, no, it, it didn't go down well for me. Was to when I saw it was on on YouTube, the Fox News had a show going on when it was announced live the five they call it and i got to hear you know the you know hot take reactions of all the five hosts it's like it was disgusting <laughs> oh i can't wait to see that do you, do you have a video of that it's on youtube you can well see. i know everything's on youtube but we're finding it and she made I just your reaction voted, i want to see it i just voted for fire in the science saves thing uh, okay so if anybody wants to neutralize my vote and vote for chemistry done <laughs> Thanks. Hey, I don't see. Oh, these are all your cats? No, wait. You just gave us a link to my cats as kittens. Where? Which video is it? There's uh, all these videos. So much hate for Trump. I can't well, believe more it. than one video in that link. Yeah, <laughs> you gave me a link to videos. I gave you a link to a video. No, you gave me a link to one, two, three, four, five. A lot of cats videos. Uh, so I guess uh, I guess there's just nobody in this uh, who comes to this trivia thing who would admit to having any fondness for Trump. Yeah, I the mean, only I thing I like about hilarious. him is that he's in his seventies and he may not be along for this world. Oh. Terrible president, but he was hilarious at times. <laughs> mm. I just got I just got an Australian mm. notice from Stephen Barrow who says, "Hey." U.S. outlets are reporting that there's a grand jury invited. I'm like, yeah. Well, Susan, exactly. were you saying were you saying what you like about Trump is that he will die? That he's 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 getting <laughs> there. That he's not like a 30, 40 year old guy. He's he's his time is limited here. Closer to death. No, he's gonna me. live forever. Remember, he's his, rich, so he's got his good diet. Doctor. His diet is terrible. Hey, I eat just as bad as he does. So Susan, no. I, I, I watched it on my phone. So it was in it was in the you know it was in the cache of my phone, which was easier. So I just I uh, copied it to you in Facebook Messenger. If you want to Oh the five reacts to Donald Trump's indictment. Want, there you go. Since you're on your PC doing this, if you want to copy it to the chat, please do. Okay, so I'm gonna set that because I want to see that. Here I'll put it, I'll put it for you guys to see. 
if you want to watch it later, but I don't want to watch it right now because that is no, it is disturbing. I want to there, see this. there was one person on there. I think she was being interviewed, so it wasn't part of the five. I'm not sure who she was though, but she was basically saying, well, but the thing in Georgia is more significant because, and then Jesse Waters cut her off. No, not Jesse Waters, one of the other guys who I don't know his name. Uh, why is that significant? He was just trying to find things. Find doesn't mean create. Like if I tell you to find me a masseuse, that doesn't mean to create a masseuse. It was unfreaking believable. I'm just and, I've got and, the and volume turned off and just looking at it right now. Way. What's that, Leonard? Language works that way. Words yeah. only have one meaning in all contexts. Yeah. <laughs> really? Is that right? Um, and apparently, throughout time, so I was at Chabot today, <laughs> and um, I was helping them um, set up and and intake the uh, the various kids that were coming for their field trips. And a third grader walks up to me and looks at me and says, "You look like you're in your 80s or 90s." <laughs> <laughs> And what did I you said, do after you backslapped the little brat? <laughs> I did not. No, I did not should, backslap the little said. brat. I said that's that's not quite right. <laughs> that's right. You, you're say, the you should say so you, you I'm 120. A little like a brat in a fair fight. No, you, Leonard. Leonard, you should have said, and you sound like you will not reach your 80s or 90s. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this morning I had that's a Zoom fun. call with uh, Annika from the ESP uh-huh. and the podcast. And her little girl's three and, you know, they're, they speak in German. So here I get on, I'm on Zoom and, the, and I think I have my hat off. I think I did. So no, I probably have my hat on. So, so you can't see my gray hair as much, but anyway, the little girl, she, she's there and the, and uh, Annika's like, this is Susan. Say hello to Susan. I'm like, hi, hi Luna. Hi. And she says, she tells her mom, it's grandma. I'm going to bring you. <laughs> <laughs> we have just got former president donald trump has been indicted by a grand is that my computer making that noise oh, that was rob rob no it's not me it Why was carolyn it was carolyn 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 <laughs> you're fired <laughs> today's song of the day i don't know why there's no stars up in the sky Stormy, Stormy weather. weather. No, no, it's I'm I'm so indicted. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Celebrate good he actually might Come make on. that his uh, new theme Jimmy song. Jimmy Fallon actually uh, made that yeah. song, and I found it on TikTok. Might use that because he oh, said he, he's uh, going to use the mugshot as a, as a campaign poster. Hey. Check out Rocky Mountain Mike. He he does song fair. He does like one a day for everything. And uh, he did that one too today. So I'll hear it tomorrow on the radio. Faith, I looked I'm at really that I'm really disappointed bottle. they're not having a perp walk. That's on Tuesday. No, we, they're not doing the perp what, walk. What, you looked we, at Jasper the how, doll? How do, you, how do you know they're not going to do a perp walk? Are you part of the negotiations? <laughs> Just listening to what people are saying. So. And everything <laughs> people say is true and worth he, repeating, yeah. right? So I don't think I, I, I do. I agree with Bill. People I don't think it's going to happen in the public where we can see it. it. No, I think Trump, we'll, Trump might I demand it. I don't think it, it will either. I think it will be good. I don't think yeah. it will. I don't think it'll happen. But that doesn't mean we know. Well, that's true. I think I think he's going to go into a building. Something will happen. They'll walk out of the building. The process and they'll print him and then. They'll yeah. let him go on his own recognizance. Oh my gosh! Hey, you guys, quit fighting. Well, he, 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 he could flee to Mexico. Oh, we can't get through at, the wall. At some point, he needs to go into a courtroom and be formally um, uh, arraigned. 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 But do you yeah. think they'll have people in there to? There'll be a judge. That's a, usually a person. Or cameras is what I'm trying to say. Uh, that's a that's an interesting question. I. Uh, well, they'll uh, probably try to get if, in there. If the I traditional to... perp walk was to have a corridor with lots of cameras, lots of news there that they would make the uh, the perp walk through. That is the classic perp walk. And, 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 and it's and unlikely one, to One happen. very famous, famous person was shot dead during that kind of a thing. That's true. I was going to say, a typical <clears throat> perp walk is not I was watching, to as a matter of fact. Protection. Well, yeah, that was quite shocking. I, I remember seeing that live on TV. It was yeah. it was quite quite a 
I, that I, that yeah. may be the only real live murder I've seen yeah. on television. How, and how quickly oh, did he Kennedy. die? I don't recall. Probably saw Kennedy also. Maybe. No, I was I was uh, I was in school when he was. Well, shot. yeah, I was in kindergarten, I guess, when that happened. Well, I've know. seen mass murder on TV, 9/11. Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 but you didn't actually individual. see a person get shot. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Susan, uh, no, we've seen films. I so take it you. I take you talking about uh, the uh, um, Oswald. Yeah. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Harvey Oswald. Yeah. Yep, Lee Either, Harvey Oswald you, you, getting shot. You guys shot talked about how you didn't want to be labeled old and you're talking about somebody <laughs> back before when my mom was five. Well, he's not saying there's he remembers old. when Lincoln was shot. Three. There's yeah. old. <laughs> I, I was so, alive so, at the time, but somehow I'm somehow it just never registered with me. You were, you were busy that day. My, yeah. my parents actually did not tell me because I think he got uh, JFK on a, on a Friday, if I remember. So I did not hear it while I was in school. And when I, re I distinctly recall I did not learn it until Monday when I was on the school bus that the president died over the weekend or whatever. Ask so like, me where I was. Wow. I don't know. Hurry, Bob. I, I was in the, the basement of our school. We were waiting in line for the music room to get into the music room for our music session. And uh, somebody told us then it was going up. And, uh, well, speaking yeah. of, pe of presidents being shot, Last Indeed. week, there was a, I was watching a rerun of an I've Got a Secret for those really old people around here. I remember and, that show. And the guy yes. that they had on there was the last living person who shot, who saw Lincoln shot. Oh. The yeah, guy was so like 96 I, years old. Yeah. And he was five years I, old at the theater when he was shot. And they were interviewing wow. and he was the guy who had the secret. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, my Good. mom said that. Um, when Lincoln got shot, she said that's something when, when that happens, you never forget where you were when that happened and you heard about I'll, it. I'll, I'll never it forget like where I was when Lincoln was shot. No, no, when Lincoln. <laughs> no, now, now I'm very Kennedy curious about the average Sorry. age of trivia participants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember. I, I was people too have young. found uh, immortality somehow. What, year, did, what was, year was Kennedy shot? 64? 63. 63. 63. 63. I was a year old. Kennedy was shot 11 63. Yeah. It's a good book title, you know. The only reason I remember Hi, Janine. I was a week was, old, and I'm technically well, a suspect. That's, that's the name <laughs> of a TV program. <laughs> it was I was in no grade... I w what he invited you to English class? Are we Same thing we do it? every week there. Just click it. it. Hurry back, you, you guys. Are you explaining physics to people? Is or am I misreading physics. something? Let's oh, talk psychics. Oh, psychics. I'm sorry. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I can explain physics, but it'd be pretty really bad. <laughs> I'm so interested in what you're going to come up with for team names today. Why did something happen in the news tonight? <laughs> uh, too many oh things. God. Which of which my many things? Just brought me popcorn. <laughs> I found out from you, Kevin. I saw your post hey, in the first way. I want some popcorn. Everybody. I walked in the door. For everyone. I walked in the door, and my wife was like, "Yeah." And I didn't know what it was, and then she told me, "I was like, oh." <laughs> I think we should all meet on Tuesday with popcorn. That's what we should do and watch this. What's that say, watch Karen? That. I'm celebrating with American, American ice cream. Ice cream. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Cool bears. Yum. Yeah. Okay, ice cream and popcorn on Tuesday. That's what I should do. Just put up a Zoom team, link. When, it, when I think it's going to happen, let's see who many people show up and we'll see what happens. Susan, like, time's if you, the if, party. If you butt dial us again. Like you oh. did for the insurrection. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd rather do this. I did butt dial everybody for the insurrection, but I didn't use my butt. I was making up my bed and I pulled the sheet and I hit the stupid messenger stupid thing. And 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 I and I didn't know there was an insurrection going on at the moment. And then well, there, there wasn't. We were watching the count, then suddenly it all started. Oh happening. yeah, yeah. They were they said, Oh, hey, look, everybody, let's watch the count. All it's, right. Come on, Susan, admit it. That was your secret call to action. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you guys are scary. Okay, so I, I predicted it, all right? Okay, here we go. Did you predict also that I was going to say that we were going to be recorded? <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, I missed that. I it. missed that. Yeah, I sure you did. You know what? The My team said I had to say it tonight, so... I but just, as a dad joke, as a dad joke, but I Thanks, couldn't. Thanks, Jamie, Leonard, and Ron. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Team names: Carolyn, Caspian, Cindy, and Carl. What's your team name? If we can't talk about Trump or Paltrow, can we at least talk about Fight Club? <laughs> nice. I've never seen that movie, by the way. Don't bother. Oh, don't don't talk about it. Don't mention oh, okay. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Okay, Jane. Kyle, Romero, Faith, Rob, and Zeke. Okay. If you can get indicted there, you can get indicted anywhere. It's up to you, New York, New York. Appropriately <laughs> bolded, uh, capitalized, and quoted inappropriately, as does a certain expert. I thought you would sing that. Sing it. Yeah. And I why did. is that word uh, spelled in Dickman? Yeah, you have a English is weird. <laughs> if in you can Dickman. get indicted there, I don't know the tune. It doesn't scan, so if you get indicted there, you can get indicted anywhere. Yeah. It's up to you, you, New York, New York. Thank you, Karen. Oh, Thank you. Somebody did it. Thank you. Appreciate that, Karen. You're she's such a true. Sounds so nice. We hope they indict him twice. <laughs> oh, multiple times. <laughs> Let's do it. They're a like that one. Changers? Yeah, <laughs> this is just the first. I thought that we'd see them all rushing to be first. All right, Bob, Bill, Karen, Kevin, and Terry. Indict tonight. That's clever and quick. Where is it? I don't see it in my chat. Chat, chat, chat. There you go. Indict tonight. Okay. Really have a, he's, By the way, in his, in his post, uh, Trump said he was a vindicted. Something, something. I want to be at the indict, <laughs> indict part of that. Okay, Jamie, Leonard, Ron, and Vincent. Okay, this is what it is. Gwyneth, Gwyneth wins trial. She and her candles won't have a meltdown. Oh. Yeah, what would that smell like? Oh. Oh, don't say it. Don't say it. No, don't no. say it. Gwyneth Candle <laughs> smells like victory. <laughs> well, <laughs> for Victor. Yes. Yeah. Good one, Karen. Okay, I'm going to put, let's see, I've got Gail just showed up. Gail. I'll put her with her brother. That'll be sweet. They heard Larry talk to each other. Oh, how nice. Okay, so Gail will go on that team. Hi, Gail. Okay, Ben, Janine, Jim, and Saunders. Insert witty Trump title here. <laughs> yeah. I like okay, it. that's good. All right, so tonight, game 154 on season three, episode 45. Ooh, I almost added some years to it on the 30th of march 2023 in the year of our lord 2023 we have five teams that are going to compete for the championship on this day that's supposed to be in history we will should always remember this day where you were and you'll be able to say on the day that trump was indicted his well, first, well, first day, day. we made fun mean, of him on trivia don't you mean in this year the first year of the reign of his majesty king charles the <laughs> third oh yes much better oh sorry did you Thank did you, you hear that he's a Cal real person. disney got out of the DeSantis my craft? son sterling called me today to tell me about that say it really quick say it really quickly um that disney disney's going to take continue control of the land until the last living descendant of king charles the third dies in 21 plus years and so the youngest <laughs> is two <laughs> What? So, yeah, yeah. Years little, little bit, little bit. Harry's youngest is the youngest living descendant as of right now. So, what does this have they, to do with Disney? Because DeSantis was going to take control of the land of the don't because of mm. the don't say gay bill, and they snuck this in right on the last board. So basically, they neutered all of DeSantis's power, 
with this wonderful little clause. It's hilarious. What is it? Really funny. It's really funny. And if it wasn't happening today, okay. So going back to this. So today, um, game one hundred and fifty-four, on this day that shall live in infamy, infant, infamy, infantry. They will live in infamy. In infantry, on this day that shall be a day that we will remember for a long time, you guys will say, I know where I was. I was playing trivia <laughs> with a cool gang of people, and it was a lot of fun, and we talked about this. Um, so oh, the meme maker here, uh, Robin here, is here. I, <laughs> we were just talking about your meme that you shared of them kissing. Ooh. Anyway, so the team tonight. Cringy. Yeah, <laughs> the team names tonight are... If we can't talk about Trump or Paltrow, can we at least talk about Fight Club? Versus, if you can get indicted here, then you can get indicted anywhere. It's up to you, New York, New York. Okay, a versus in, indict tonight versus Gwyneth, Gwyneth wins trial. She and her candles won't have a meltdown. Versus insert witty Trump title here. So we're ready to start. The team leaders tonight are going to be, oops, I have it on the other screen. Let me find it. Carl, who's starting out tonight, which we all know he's starting out because you can see him facing the camera, which is freaky weird. Um, versus Rob, versus Robin, versus Ron, versus Mike Wolf, who'll be here in time for bonus. He said he'd be late. I think he had... I think I was talking to Mike Wolf like just moments after they mentioned the 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 indictment. Him and I were talking over Messenger, and he said, "I'll be a little late tonight, and everybody's going to hate my category tonight." The bonus. I said, "You cannot ruin the mood tonight because we're all going to be all happy." Sorry, it's nothing you're going to be able to do. And he says, "Because he's in Brooklyn," he says, "Oh my God, I can hear the crowds." right from my from my uh from my my house i can hear the crowds and reacting you know in anger and he goes then he goes back no it's just crickets <laughs> <laughs> that am i supposed pretty... to do a category tonight susan yes you are supposed to do a category tonight is that going to be a problem oh i actually do have one uh i need to go look at my email and um <laughs> spruce it up a tiny little bit can you make me go if you don't last? have one, I can do one. Uh, no, you I are got, I got third. I, I do need to put you in the right room. You're you after a break. Maybe oh, after the break. Okay, yeah, I can get it ready by then. <laughs> She's like, oh, shit. <laughs> you should always have one written because you never know when you're going to have, uh, have, have promised right. one and then didn't uh, remember to, that you got to do it. So oh, uh, team five, you will have Mike Wolf on your team. He's just not here yet. And team three, indict tonight, you do have Robin on your team. Yay! So letting you guys know. Exactly. All right. So this is a professional I need a, organization. I need a <laughs> let's let Saunders do it since he hasn't done it in a while. You make co-host. So Saunders will be the mutator. Yeah, you're the mutator. Get rid of all the <laughs> trolls, all that stuff. So that's where he's in my office. Might as well let him, you know. What 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 yeah, he doesn't know what he's doing. So that's great. This will be fun. <laughs> <It'll> be <laughs> that's the way you like it, right, Susan? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, all right, so Carl. I can, I can mute everybody, yeah. After yep, Carl hammer. says what our team our thing is doing, then we all groan about how <laughs> uh, famous very not well. so random people. What? Famous people, not so random. Ooh. Meaning there there might be some sort of common theme. Maybe. Okay. Like groan, groan, groan. Depending, on the, theme, depending on the theme, I might or might not. <laughs> you know where the mute button is, Richard? No idea. I have never given them these powers before, I guess. That's wild. Under participants, I believe. I don't have the control, but I think yeah. that's right. I hit the participants button, and you should see at the bottom of the participants window that pops up a mute all button. No. Does Richard have... Oh, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's just come up. Of course he has power. Okay. Of course I did. Number one. Famous German statesman who first formed the German national state in 1871 and was known as the Iron Chancellor. 
A master of complex politics at home, he created the first welfare state in the modern world with the goal of gaining the working class support that might otherwise go to his socialist opponents. He would later have a battleship named after him. Number two. Born Baruch Bosara, he is regarded as one of the greatest singers in the history of rock music. He was known for his, his flamboyant stage persona and four octave vocal range. Number three. This person wrote and recorded the song Wasted Days and Wasted Nights. Number four. This is the name slash character used by Ross Bagdasarian Sr. when he released the song Witch Doctor and another song parenthetically titled Christmas Don't Be Late in 1958. The character was also played by Jason Lee in a series of films from 2007 to 2015. Number five. This person is one of the two different people sometimes credited with the invention of radio, depending partly on which court you listen to. And to be clear, that's not a joint credit. Sometimes people credit one person, sometimes they credit another person. So either to... either name is an acceptable answer to this? Then? No, because only one name fits the theme. Mm. This actor played Robert Crawley, Earl of Grantham, in the ITV historical drama series Downton Abbey. He recently played a retired judge serial killer in the 2022 British crime th thriller film I Came By. But my favorite role of his is that of Ian Fletcher in the BBC mockumentary sitcom about the BBC, W1A. Number seven. This person, born October 25th, 1944, is an American political consultant, author, and occasional actor who has strategized for candidates for the public office in the US and at least 23 nations abroad. A Democrat, he is an expert pundit in U.S. elections who frequently appears frequently on cable news programs, podcasts, and public speeches. He is nicknamed the Ragin' Cajun. Number eight. He played Mark in the 2003 film Love Actually, where he delivered a message of love to, his, to Juliet through the use of cue cards. Sorry, this movie has nothing to do with the ambulatory breath of life. Number nine. Deborah's here. He was once a cast member of Saturday Night Live, and after hosting the show on February 15, 1997, during which he said to have been abusive to the cast members, Lauren Michaels banned him from ever hosting SNL again. And finally, number 10, he played Rear Admiral Raymond A. Spruance in the 1976 film Midway, Tom Corbett in the 1963 film The Courtship of Eddie's Father, and Jonathan Kent in a 1978 Richard Donner film. And there we go. There are the 10 questions to your rooms. Ooh. That's the name. Yeah, I put Marconi. Hi all. Hello. Hi. So how are you guys handling this? We've Number three. four. What? Let's see. You know two, right? 
Yes. Okay. Is number eight Andrew Lincoln? Yes, thank you. Yes, I had Andrew and I couldn't think of his last name. And number 10, I want to say, is Henry Fonda. Okay. But I don't know. I don't need, I have no clue on 10 whatsoever. I haven't seen any of those films. So number nine, is that, would that be Murray or? Um... John Belushi? No, no. I don't think it would be Belushi. So Murray is, was an abusive host? He was abusive to cast members? Bill Murray? Yeah. yeah. I don't he's think so, of, but um... I've heard something, so I don't know. But I Or Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase could be a wanker, I heard. I don't know. Which, which other ones have you guys got besides Freddie Mercury? Bismarck, number one. Otto Van, Bis Otto Van Bismarck is number one. Freddie Mercury... Uh, three, we don't know. Waste days and wasted nights. Four? Did you have four? I forgot. What was the question on four? Four is, this is a name character used by Ross Bagdasarian Sr. when he released the song Witch Doctor and the song parenthetically titled Christmas Don't Be Late in 1958. The character was also played by Jason Lee in a series of films from 2007 to 2015. All I know by him is The Crow, right? Anybody else know what Jason Lee played? No, because I don't even know Jason Lee. Oh, it's Bruce Lee. Lee's son. Yeah, he's he was. He, Bruce yeah. Lee. Oh, Bruce. Oh, he's, he's and he well, was the one who was who, shot by a gun mm -hmm. on the set. Don't get no, it. I, or I still wouldn't recognize Jason Lee. No, I wouldn't there. That's on. But that's so, the only thing I know him from is the crow. I, I can't think of some, anything else. Okay, so we've got Otto Van Bismarck, mm -hmm. Freddie Mercury, mm -hmm. Andrew Lincoln, mm -hmm. Henry Fonda, Marconi. Which one's Marconi? Five. He was one of the inventors of the uh, the radio, I believe. That he was asking. Well, the other one do. was yeah. The the Edison would have been the other one, but you remember yeah. he said there's two choices. Yeah, one fits the but only one will fit. So so don't think about Marconi for the moment because it might be the other. Yeah. So what do they all have in common? Bismarck, Mercury, Lincoln. Are they all cars? Fonda, no. Fonda is. What? Rhymes with Honda. Um, well, Mercury is one. Is a Bismarck a car? Mm, not no, that I'm I know. aware of. How about an auto? It's spelled differently. O-T-T-O. Because if you can come up with a theme, you might have a better... Um, but is Edison a car? Yeah, definitely. That's yeah, the I Edsel, wonder if the it Edsel. might be. I think that was the Edsel, wasn't Edsel it? Edsel is capitals. Lincoln, Nebraska. Bismarck, North Dakota. Yeah. Okay, oh. which is number five? Is there a Marconi? Oh capital? no, that wouldn't fit either. But how about the other one? Edison. No. Not as a capital, no. But neither would Freddie Mercury. Right. Um, who was a raging Cajun? I don't know who that would be. I know, I know who he is, and I'm trying to think of his name. I'm trying to like think of the, the Downton John Lejeune or something. He's on all sorts of talk shows, which is a problem because I don't watch talk shows. <laughs> the guy the from Downton Abbey was also in, uh, oh, the cute little bear. Yeah, I don't know. I only saw like a couple of episodes of Downton Abbey and I said, this is a fucking soap opera. Yeah. So I watched it with my mom. So I, I just watched it. With I her. love the movie. Yeah. Godfrey I like Park. But I, I, I didn't want to be invested in that sitcom. It was just too long. Well, the I only one I know from Downton Abbey is Dan Stevens. 
Oh, who is it? He was. I can see his face. He was in the the other one. Actually, Peter Capaldi was in that movie too. Um, the bear, the cute little bear. <laughs> Paddington. Paddington. He was in that movie. Oh, the Paddington. Okay. The who was in the Paddington Bears. So um can't think of I can't think of what these people would have in common. Um or their names or something. I mean, it seems like Lincoln, Fonda, Mercury, those all feel like they should Bismarck or Otto, Otto, Otto. Seems like Van, Van. And if there's Chevy Chase, it's that's Vaughn, a suburb in Washington. Oh, Vaughn. That's true. Chevy Chase would be a suburb in Washington, D.C. Is that it? Yeah. Or Virginia? Well, that's a Chevy Chase, D.C., yeah. What's yeah. Chevy's car? So. Yeah, that's true. And Henry Fonda, what's... I, I mean, it's probably not Henry Fonda, so can you think of any what, it's what? actors who would have been about 50, 60 years old in the 1970s? In the, oh, 1970s. Hang, hang um, on. I want to say it was he was a bigger name, too. Um, Someone of the scale of Henry Fonda. The guy who... who played in one of those god films um he was in roman films and didn't know there were, one was a homosexual scene oh how it? about um the guy, who went to Holly, the guy who went to washington uh, jimmy stewart i think jimmy stewart's too old i don't think yeah he's from experience. ford what was his name ford so it might be cars ford Yes, the last name. It's Ford. What the hell is this? John Ford? John Ford? John, no, that was, the, that was the director. That was his name. I'm looking right now. No, Google it. I, I, I'm looking right yeah. now. Off in the distance, we hear it's Ford. Right the last name is Ford. So if you're looking at for a theme. Glenn Ford? Glenn, there's a Glenn, Glenn Ford. Glenn, Glenn Ford. Glenn Ford. Okay. Oh, good. Thank you, obscure voice from the back, from the from the mountain behind him, yes. behind Carolyn. Okay, so the car. okay, okay. So the question is: Is there? There's not a Marconi. There is a car that is called an Edison, right? I. No, it's Ed, uh, is there an Edison or Edsel? Or you get that confused with the hey, Edsel. You're old. I think it's Edison. I think there was a car called I, Edison that failed. You know, no, that I want to say that's right. It was the Edsel that yes, failed. Yes, he said well, there was. The yes. Edsel failed, but I want to say there was a mark called Edison, Edison at one point. Well, we Edison. yeah, we know there's Edsel, so I think there was an Edison car that failed. I think okay. No, I think you're right, Susan. Thank you. Number seven's James Carville. That's his name. He's hilarious. He's in the South. Well, if it's James like Carville, that's is that changing. a car? He's hilarious. Yeah, he's I, I love it. He he's got this um his ceiling is all wood and he's always doing his uh they always talk to him from um uh in his he's in his kitchen and it's all wood up there. It's oh he's just hilarious. He says it like it is. He's something else. Okay, so all right, so reviewing then if we think we have a theme, then how does Bismarck fit in? Was there a Bismarck? In the German warship? Name after it the German was. leader. It can't be anybody else. Yeah, it's got to be Bismarck. So, and Mercury, Mercury, and then Lincoln. Or well, Wasted Days and Wasted Nights. Who wrote that song? Can you guys think of a car? <laughs> Obscure car. <laughs> uh, oh, what was the Corinthian leather? Um, Mustang. Rambler. I don't know. Rambler. Oh, Mustang? Is there anybody, Rambler. can you think of a, anybody's last name is Mustang? Or a Woody car? Oh, um, Woody, like Woody Guthrie. Oh, yeah. Well, I think they're more like the type, a nickname for a type of car that used a lot of wood paneling on the outside. Those were mainly station wagons. Yeah. Chevy? Do we get Chevy Chase? 
Yeah, we've got Chevy Chase. Which one is Chevy Chase? Is that the number nine? Saturday Night Live guy. Yeah, number nine. Okay, so we have Andrew Lincoln, number seven. Oh, did we have number seven? Who was the radio? Yeah, that's James, James Carville. Carville. What car is that? Karen wants you in her room. Room three wants you, Carl. All right, here we go. I don't know what car that is, but it has to be Carville. Maybe just because his name is Carville Car. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was thinking too. So I never, never heard of him being called the Raging Cajun. That's never heard that. What's number four again? I mean, or what? Was we don't have it. We don't have it because I thought it was the crow, but that doesn't make sense. Oh, that's that the okay, movie the guy. Character used by Ross. It is when he released the song "Witch Doctor" in the song pair of long time. Name character used by Bryce. I don't know anything about any of those clues. And that's not Jason Lee that we're thinking of. He because Jason Lee has been dead a lot longer than 2015. No, no, Bruce Lee. Did, they, did Jason Lee get shot too? All right. I'm giving a little piece of information to all the teams. If you haven't figured out the theme and you know both the first and last name of the answer answer both the first and last name don't use just one name because if you use the name that isn't the part of the theme you're shooting yourself in the foot gotcha okay so for edison we need to put his first name just because that right yeah well if edison was a car but yeah we'll put thomas as yeah i think there is a you so say let's put it in there just to be safe auto you know <laughs> auto, even though it's spelled you know not auto as in car but it's o-t-t-o -T -T -O, but auto maybe you know. it says how about nova do we know anybody named nova you know auto might be a reference to one of the earliest developers of the internal combustion engine oh okay car too. Oh. and cardinal mm -hmm. No. Lincoln. Number three. I can't think of a song. What a Woody Guthrie is the only thing I can come up with, but I think that's that's too early, right? That what would was be the song written. Dodge. Do we know anybody named Dodge? Last name of Dodge. I'm thinking of cars now because I'm I don't know the answers to these questions. Yeah. I, I don't either. And I'm not getting the one, you know, I thought with the whole Jason Lee thing. Okay. Um it was a name of a character, so it's gotta be something car of the character. Christmas don't be late. I don't um, Jeep something? Jeep? I don't know. Yeah, think of some cars. Volkswagen, not, no, that's not it. Um, Toyota, Corolla, uh, Datsun. Toyota, Datsun. Um, Datsun is no Mustang. longer around. But, um, Mustang. Unless, um, Thunderbird. Um, Packard. What is it? Packard. Oh, Packard. Packard. Oh, that's really good. If oh, if one of these questions is about computers, yeah. Packard. Ten, ten, Lizzie. The nickname though, it was just mm -hmm. a nickname. Um, Camaro. Mercedes, Volvo. Yeah. Mercedes Benz. Benz. For Volvo. Yeah, um, I think also about the the kind. Honda. Well, these all seem to be more major, right? Like a Mercury is a well. These number are four more companies. These aren't number, just. Yeah, number four. If he was based on a character in 1958, has to be before Honda and all that. Toyota it has to be. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it has to be. What was, oh, what was the one that was unsafe at any speed? I think they all were. <laughs> no, what was the one that they that they weren't safe because they didn't have well one thing. What was that car called? Um, 
that they wrote the book on and the guy ran for Bader. Bader. Wasn't there a Tucker? Isn't that oh, a car? And then there was a, oh, who was the one who developed a car with three headlights, but it, it got. Wasn't that the Tucker? Maybe that was Tucker. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is anybody's last name or first name Tucker? And mm -hmm. what, if, and what was the unsafe at any speed? It was the. Mm. You guys know what I'm talking about. No, I know. Are, are, are you having a general discussion or are you actually working on answers? We're, we're trying we're, to call We have given up cars. on trying to find the answers and we've started naming cars. Woolworths <laughs> around. That's where we're at. Carl. But you're trying to name cars in hopes of using one of them for an answer. You're not just having yes. a random. Okay. That's so how you're just I, having a random conservation. I, I would answer your question, but obviously I won't because you no, might. No, this it. is how I float here. So unsafe, it, the Corvair. That's what it was. Corvair. Oh, was, remember uh, that? Uh, you know anybody whose name is Corvair? It's almost like in the 60s. Stop, Carl. Tucker Carver, Corvair. Corvair. Um, Jaguar. Benz. I wish I knew. Oh, God, it's killing me because wasted days and wasted nights. I should know that. Yeah, that song that's, you know. Stuart? So we don't have three of them, right? Six, three, and four. So I'm hoping to throw out a name of a car and you guys go, oh, well, that's John, whatever his name is. Mm -hmm. John Tucker. Um. Seems like it'd be easy to think of names of cars or obscure cars. Yeah, but you need the name of the car and somehow to have that trigger a name. Well, all I'm coming up with General Motors, but General? But he, is General. anybody named General? Oh, maybe Bismarck is General General not, Bismarck. Not a general. Oh. Um he was a politician. I propose if the time yeah, is run down. Is, put, Bentley? Is, ben, is there one of Bentley? Oh, God. I, yeah. I propose that we put on on um, three, four, and six, like the name Tucker or Bentley. <laughs> but there's a Wes Bentley actor, but he's pretty, he's pretty new. He's never the most. I'm going to scream about the uh, the Downton Abbey. One minute. I should know this guy, and it's killing me. You got 50 seconds now. Do you guys want to put Tucker or Bentley or Benz or something on these answers we don't have? And if so, which name do you want? Mercedes. I would say Mercedes Benz, but that will be a woman. A Mercedes. Okay. I don't know. Dodge. Just. Dodge. Yeah, dodge. Do we have a dodge? dodge? Do we have a dodge? Okay, so let's put dodge on those three because they're blanks. <laughs> and maybe we will get lucky and there will be somebody we've never heard of before called Dodge. Maybe dodge. number four would be Dodge. I'm gonna put it in all of them. The most fear after. I'm gonna kick myself on the don't nabby guy. Because it's better than leaving a blank. We might actually get something. Yeah. I like your optimism. <laughs> I'm on another team in a minute. <laughs> Boy, that was a tough uh, category. Holy moly. Starting off well. Yeah, well. I will be hey, really impressed if any team gets a 10. Okay. Hi, okay. Sagan. Here we go. Famous, Pre not prepared so prepared to be impressed. I'm uh, uh, I'm going to challenge the use of the word famous. <laughs> Otto von Bismarck. Yay. Otto. Oh, yeah. are, are, two. Are, by the way, are we good with just a Bismarck? How many people no, got Otto? Otto. I put Otto, Otto von Bismarck. Otto. Otto. 
Colorado. You don't get it for Bismarck. Sorry. That is I've not never a Bismarck. I have never driven a Bismarck. Sorry. It's an auto. Ooh. Yeah. Auto, yes. Number two is Freddie Mercury. Yay, yeah. Freddie. Number three. Freddie Fender. Oh. 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 Uh, Leonard, you're right oh, about the car part. Was... Yeah, we were uh, guessing the car part, but we couldn't think four, of anyone. David Seville. David Seville. Oh. Oh. Oh, so it wasn't oh, just car Alvin names. Chipmunks. Oh, well, Seville is a car. Alvin! Yeah. Alvin! Alvin! But not a Fender. Number five, Nikola Tesla. Oh. 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 There's, there's, this was his Tinder picture. There, yeah, there's, there's, there's a whole <laughs> story Sorry, of Jane. lawsuits over who filed patents first. And... I wouldn't swipe right. Yeah, Jane was sure it was Tesla. We talked her out of it. Good job, team. Number six, yes. Hugh Bonneville. Yeah. Ah. Ah. I know at least one team got that right. By the way, Jason Lee did not play Alvin in Alvin and the Chipmunks. He was their friend. He played David Seville. David Seville. Which is a oh, car. There you go. Number seven, James Carville. We yeah. got that. He's great. I Very love him. Number eight, Andrew Lincoln. Hey. Uh, have anybody caught the ambulatory breath of life reference to The Walking Dead? No. That's oh, the other yes. show he's, the TV show he's most Oh, known so for. close. We guessed Lincoln, but couldn't think of a, of a first name. Yeah. yeah. Number nine, Chevy Chase. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and number 10, Glenn Ford. All right. Yes. Go team. Can we get Glenn if I only wrote it with one N? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> if you got the Ford. Doesn't that matter? Well, I got the Bismarck. And, and, uh, uh, and, and we, got, we got Bismarck, but we didn't have auto. You, didn't, you, so didn't, you gotta have know. auto. And, and uh, thanks to uh, Richard Saunders, I now have uh, something to use if I ever do this round again. I totally forgot about <laughs> William Holden and Holden Motors. Get in How about, the, uh, lane. How about the Tucker? And Tucker's another oh, good one I could do. <laughs> and, and, and this unsafe at any speed dude. Ralph Nader. Nader. Ralph that was Nader and the, Nader. Vin Nader. Diesel. And the Corvair. Oh, Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. Oh, Vin Diesel. Diesel. That's a guy. I got to add that one. Ford Fairlane. But we're just giving all the answers well, right now. I could so. almost do an entire round of people. <laughs> we will them. not remember, Susan. No. That's remember true. what? Yeah. <laughs> Considering we've redone questions from previous rounds and people yeah. have still gotten them wrong. So <laughs> that's true. Okay. Scores. Scores. Okay. So we'll start with insert witty. Trump title here. Uh, we got six. Okay. Gwyneth wins trial. She and her candles won't have a meltdown. We got eight. What? Very good. Indict tonight. Ten. <gasps> wow. No Impressive. Way. Really? Wow. I demand a recap. Wow. Who on your <laughs> team is, is an expert on this? Uh, everybody it, it was a, it was a group effort wow okay if you can get indicted there you can get indicted anywhere yeah and what's the rest of that Susan? it's up to you new york new york thank you we got you really way to hear that right how many eight good and if we can't talk about trump or paltro can we at least talk about fight club Six. Well, we tied with the other team, so it's not so bad. Category so average is seven point six. Not bad, Carl. That's about right where we want to be, isn't and, it? And if anybody's interested, the the questions and answers are in the chat to download if you want them. Fantastic. Thank you, Thank you Carl. So organized. I'd rather have the uh, questions and answers to the future rounds, but you know that's just me. Oh, they're there. <laughs> they're, just, they're in his head. You don't want to go there. Well. I could give you the answers, but I haven't made the questions yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a list of all the answers. Though. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna study all the car uh, car so, manufacturers uh, now. So hmm. you haven't made the questions yet. So the so the answer is forty two. Yeah. Ooh. Mm, yes. Okay. Okay. Here ready, we go, Robert. Ready for category two? Yeah. Is it about this cars? Is all about King. About what? Ooh, King. All about King. 
your that favorite be, that, topic. That will become uh, obvious in a moment. Um, who's muting? Stand by. Saunders. Standing. Okay, here we go. This is all about the uh, little-known author Stephen King. Which oh, upon Jane! A, once upon look at a they. time, uh, Carl said he didn't know too much about. So we'll see if that's true. First question: This could be a give me, or maybe not, because I always have trouble with the name Stephen. Is it spelled Stephen or Stephen? Pronounced identically. Ooh, good question. Second one. What is King's home state where many of his stories are set? Aha, uh -huh. I almost said that to him whenever you said. Number three, which was King's debut novel. Could Wait, be... so this is not the congressman, Steve King, Stephen King. <laughs> no hints, no hints. Number four. <laughs> What is the title of his upcoming novel scheduled for publication this September? Oh, God, I hope somebody knows that. Number five. Which novel had the most pages, excluding re-releases or expand, expanded versions of that novel later? Number six. Which is not the title of the King novel? A bunch of choices. The Colorado Kid, Duma Key, Black House, 112363, The Regulators, Insomnia, Cycle of the Werewolf, Cell. And I know one team is going to get that right. Oh, Number wow. Seven. He's that prolific. <laughs> Number seven. Which novel is considered his best seller? And I said considered because there's no like official thing of that. But if you Google it, everyone says the same thing. Apparently, uh, like the number of publications of books is kind of tightly held, uh, not publicly released all the time. Uh, number eight, which King book does this Wikipedia synopsis describe? The story takes place in an unnamed Midwestern city in 1972 to 74. Grieving over the death of his son and the disintegration of his marriage, a man is driven to mental instability when he learns that both his home and his workplace will be demolished to make way for an extension to an interstate highway. Sounds kind of like the beginning of the Hitchhiker's Guide. Oh, that's, that's, uh, guide. yeah, Hitchhiker's Guide. Yeah. Number nine. Oh, and uh, for people listening, the uh, it's either Joyland, Roadwork, Blaze, Desperation, A Black House, or Rage. Y'all, you listeners out there on yeah. YouTube land. That's right. Number nine. One third so of there was a, There was an F. We didn't get that one pasted. F is rage. There's one after Black House. Yeah, it's, it's on my screen. It's on my screen. It's weird. It's not on mine. Did well, you scroll fine. It, scroll it. Why, well, man? Yeah. I don't have it either. Oh wow! Well, some people don't have nice things. Number That's eight cool. only goes up to E. <laughs> yeah, okay. eight is rage for me. So how is that possible? Do we have different versions rage. of Zoom? That that's bizarre. Could be. For those of I you who didn't get it, you cannot choose F. Uh, <laughs> my uh, my. Zoom updated before I joined today. I don't so, know if anyone else is did. I wonder if it just has passed. My, yeah, Zoom has recently anymore. updated, so it could have something to do with it. All right. Did so you I also miss know. yours, Richard? I. Mine's what, what fine. I, I think mine's okay. Weird. All right. Oh. So somebody pasted in F separately. All right. Thank you, Terry. Yeah, yeah there it Thank is. You. Nine. One third of King's novels, novellas, and short stories have been brought to life through movies and television shows. Name the highest grossing movie based on King's work, not accounting for inflation, according to the worldwide gross figures from Box Office Mojo. And finally, and this one has to do with my background. In, Simpsons, in the Simpsons movie, Homer pollutes the town's lake, causing the EPA to imprison Springfield under a giant glass dome. In King's novel, Under the Dome, a town's inhabitants must contend with being suddenly cut off from the world by an impassable, invisible dome-like barrier, which was released first. Hmm. And that's it. Any questions? Go outside. Go out. Nope. Okay, go to your rooms. Any answers? You have to go to your room to find him.
So who's the big Stephen King fan in here? I, I am, and I actually have a Stephen King book sitting next to me right now because we were talking about... Well, I think it's S-T-E-P-H-E-N, right? It's it's P-H. Yeah. It's P-H. I mean, I could just like actually. look over there, but I know it's a P-H. Um, his, it's his main novel. It's main, yes. And that's about all I know. The debut Same. novel is Carrie. Oh. Oh, I would have said Cujo. Nope, it's Carrie. And it's I E Carrie C A R R I E. I don't know about the next novel. What is it? T B D. No, it's very the, good. What did you say it was? T D B D. No, it's the next one to be announced. And I've I I don't know what it is. But I know what it's about. I just can't remember the name because I haven't read the series yet. It's the Mister Mercedes series. Mercedes and, Five. No. It's, Mercedes Benz. No, no. Okay, next question. What novel had the most pages? And he's going by excluding re-released expanded novels. So I'm going, I really want to look at how many pages this book is next to me. Well, he did say that no, some, that we already good. talked about uh oh, one of the answers to the questions tonight and and so it very well could be it's that probably book. 11 22 63 yeah oh, yeah the, it, the that, re that's a pretty big book is it well, yes yeah. i have it right here this is it right here oh jesus christ yeah. what is rob it? read it in one night yeah oh you know he did so is that supposed to be a, a date yeah this is about what if the kennedy assassination actually hadn't happened Oh yeah, that would be stop it. Oh, I can't stand um, time travel stupid. Yeah, but the stand, the stand, the stand, the original stand yeah. version, the original stand novel was like seven hundred and fifty some pages, I think. And then when he rewrote it and released it, it's over a thousand. So, okay, which is a, not the title of a King novel. I want to. I had no idea he'd written this much. I think he's tricking us because I want to say it's the. I want to say Black House, but I think Black House actually is a novel and it's the regulators because I think that's a short story. Mm, okay. Or actually, no, it might be Cycle of the Werewolf because I think it's Cycle of a Werewolf because Cycle of the Werewolf, I think, is a compilation of short stories like Four Past Midnight. So go with G. But wait, that could easily be misconstrued as a novel for length purposes but it's not one story i agree it's with you i'm just wondering are you familiar with all the other titles yes okay I have, yeah all right well that's that then mm -hmm. i know <laughs> i'm like yeah like they're all standalone novels you heard of duma mm. yes i've heard of duma key i have not read duma key i've not read the colorado kid or the regulators or insomnia or cell but they're all my you which novel's considered his bestseller? This Cujo? is a tricky question. Or could it be like the, what was the one with the kids in the cemetery, Pet Cemetery? No, that yeah. pet, it wouldn't be Pet Cemetery. If it was any of his books, it's it? The, it would be It. Misery? The Shining. Oh, yeah. Ooh, The Shining. Um, Or I, and I would think, let's go with The Stand. Because okay. that I've never think, seen The Stand or read it or anything. The you don't think it would be The Shining? Because didn't they have a movie? That did they have a movie on The Stand? They did. A, they did a television series. They did. I would think that it probably would be something that was a big movie hit that would uh, intrigue people to go and buy more sales. That's yeah. why I'm thinking it's uh, Shining. Yeah. I think the sh the shining as a non-reader of Stephen King, right. I'm going on like the one that has the biggest name recognition to me. I would also say, yeah, that's probably true. I would I would go with the stand, but I also want to mention Shawshank because I think didn't oh it, he did that didn't he, that win like Academy Awards? He, I didn't he, know he wrote that. Shawshank is uh, Shawshank is not a novel; it's a novella. Oh, and that's true. Popped in with that's a whole true. bunch of other things. That's really well, true. we have we have a. But I would say here. the Shining probably would be the best one because that that is the one novel I've seen like lumped in together, and that's where ever that's if you talk about a Stephen King book that you're going to read, it's going to be that one instead of the other ones. 
And I I just want to ask, this is going to show my stupidity. Did did he write The Green Mile? Yes. And so that was another big hit. That shows your your stupidity. <laughs> well, I, did, I didn't know if he- I didn't know that. He did. A lot of his books are not horror related. I mean, they are, but they aren't. Like the Dark Tower is- Yeah, is a, I like is, the ones that are not horror. Yeah. Like I like- Most Shoshu, of his I like aren't. The Mile. Uh, yeah. But they do deal with supernatural elements. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. nine, eight, 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 eight. I would go with Desperation. D? Yes. Nine. Um... Shiny. I would go with I would go with it. Yeah. It volume one, I think, is what it's called. The most recent one. It. Mm -hmm. Ten. Um. I want to say the Simpsons movie came first. That was like ninety-eight, I think. Yeah, and Under the Dome, I think, came out in the early 2000s. There you go. There's so many other books he could have talked about. So we're missing four. Like, he didn't even touch. What is the name? Five. What is it about? Do you know what, what the it, upcoming is about? It's about... Is it about a raving dog? Named no, it's about, it's about one of the characters from Mr. Mercedes. What was the one with the car? That was Christine. Oh, right. Christine. That's right. Mm -hmm. There was another author who came out, out um, you know, this contemporary of Stephen King, Ed and Price. that's who I was reading for a long time. And his Which were one? terrifying. Um, he wrote Mr. Murder. Um, he wrote, um, I can't even think of his name. Oh God, I read like five of them and I found myself so engrossed with them. I'd be driving and I have the book. And then if I stopped at a stoplight, I quickly pick it up and read like a, like three or four sentences, put it down to go. I was, I said, I, I these are just too much for me. I can, I cannot literally put the book down. I'm going to get in an accident. And they were, God, they were so good. And I just finally said, these are too intense for me. What was his name? What was the name of the book? Mr. Murder. There's a whole bunch, but I remember Mr. Murder. Um, yeah, I guess we could look it up. It wouldn't hurt anything. Huh? Dean Coots? Yeah, Dean Coots. Oh, yeah. You remember him? Yeah. Is he still around? I think he is. I recognize that name. I can't tell you when I've seen it last, but I would imagine he's around. Hey, oh, oh. I'm trying to think of the character. Yeah, she's 77. Huh? Huh. It's the name of the female character from the Mr. Mercedes series. My internet seems to be down. I can't get to Wikipedia. Is there something wrong? Well, you've got us. Yeah. <laughs> or I've got, I'm talking I'm to myself to and you, I just pretend you're here. Her name is either Lisa or Holly. Oh, no, here it comes up. Go with Holly. I think it's Holly, isn't it? Because it's about the female character from the Mr. Mercedes. That's the movie coming up? The, the novel. It's I mean, the Holly. novel? Yeah. It's better it's than Holly. No Guess. Put down Holly. Yeah, because yeah, I wanted to read it, but I need to read, like, the other three books before that one, according to some people. Oh, I didn't know... Dean Kuntz was so prolific either in some weird stuff. Frankenstein. Look at all these. They're coming out with a Frankenstein um, movie, I think. Oh, he does sort of look like Stephen King. The books are just as frightening, but they never had the they never had the um, stardom. It was like he came out at the wrong time because he's competing with with Stephen King. Dark Fall. Oh my God, that was so scary. Um, I'm trying to see what else. The, oh, there's several here. I think I've read The Watchers, Strangers, mm -hmm. Midnight, Mr. Murder. Oh my God. 
But of this, yeah, the Stephen King movies, the only ones that I actually recall that were actual films, like, released in the theaters. Oh, he's talking about, well, television shows wouldn't have grossing box office, would they? I don't think so, no. Yeah, I think It and The Shining are the only ones that have actually... Harry? Been... Harry was massive. Yeah. I didn't. I even know what that is. What? I've never seen it. What box office hits okay. for Stephen King? Is that what you're saying? Oh, Alan's Alan. here. We froze. <laughs> yeah. Were you saying Shining something? are the only ones that have had like huge, huge theatrical releases? No. Rob, let's close the rooms. Oh, you're talking, saying no. I was going to say, how you yeah. doing? Yeah. yeah. Well, Carrie. Yeah, but that's because it's older, and I think. I think it would be because it did have a TV series, but then and, and the Green Mile that I think that got Academy an Academy Award or something like it, maybe. Are we talking I, about which is the best seller? Which no, question no, no, are we no. talking about? I'm just really disappointed that there's no Dark Tower question, Robert Palmer. I can't. That uh, just sounds like something from Lord of the Rings. This is the first, time, this is the first uh, time I can remember anyone mm -hmm. ever held up a book with the actual answer to one of the <laughs> questions. <laughs> Sitting right next to her. Well, and you know, like, I have not looked oh, at it. Stand by me. Uh, Faith was Stand by Me, a full novel. Stand by Me is one of his as well. That okay. was a big movie, too. But I don't think that would have had the same box office gross as like it. Like, that was maybe. I think yeah. people really like the horror, but I, but I think, yeah, some well, of that's the... what he's, and that's what people think he's known for. Like, what's interesting is these are some of his older books. Like, I'm, like rage for instance we will never publish that book again um, doesn't want it back in print because it's about a school shooting i actually Ooh. have a copy of it here that i want to read it eventually because it's it's one of those things like, read it when we when we have forgotten that we have school shooting when did when was it first okay, published? It will come God. i hope so it was, was it like under, it was published in the bachman books i think in the same because i ran across a copy it's a black paperback. Was it before the late nineties? Like, oh no, I think it was like maybe seventies oh, okay. or eighties. I was gonna say, was it predictive? Because like, so it was after school shootings started happening. He wrote it, but now he. Oh, can you imagine if he was responsible? Yeah, it was part of no, the. No, but no, it was <laughs> me that I just Rage was published in seventy-seven. Ah uh, yes, and Wesley Crusher was in it. Wesley Crusher, yeah. We must be talking about Stand By Me. You got yeah. it. Stand By Me. Hi, Alan. It's not Wesley Crusher. I didn't let you in. Oh, look, Mim's here, too. That's or Max. Max is there. Sorry, Max. Wow. I don't think Max cares. Did my mon frere make it? Yeah, yeah Alan. There you are, down there. I just the I didn't want to put him Alan? in the room because we're about to um, leave. Okay, everyone is back, I'm ready waiting. for the answers. You got it, I sent it. Yeah. Seriously? Good yeah. job, Rob. These are some good questions, and it's a yeah. category we don't... Give it a day or two. ...haven't normally... Yeah, I, I did it just because Carl at one point said, oh, I don't know anything about Stephen King, and from listening to his uh, room, I think he was lying. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't well, know he... much about his books because I haven't read any of his books. I know some stuff about him. Mm. Okay, so Carl's level of not knowing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know much. Is another person's expert? Yeah. Is that what I only, I only got, got a copy of, of one of the She got in front of her book. book. Yeah, so this has to be a first in trivia where in the pre-game discussion, someone actually held up the book with the answer to one of the questions. Because, yes, I'll go to number six. 11 63 is not the date. It's 11 It's 11 63 But the yep. book is... 11, 22, 63. Yeah. And oh. Stephen with a PH right there. Yeah, I always had trouble with that, by the way, because this, even if you spell it with a PH and you use a nickname, it's still going to be Steve. So and with with a V. So, so are we saying that the answer is D because of a typo or? It's not it a just... typo. It's the wrong date. That's it's, okay. 
Yeah. Good. Okay. So you meant to so have the right. Shorten, if you shorten the name. Oh, you're name. kidding me. Yeah. So we've got. So we've got D as the answer. You it's screwed us question. over. Okay. Well, it's a famous. It's a, normally, one, normally I wouldn't. Uh, yes, Ken. I wouldn't normally have done that, but it is a famous day for some reason. You know. Right. It's yeah. Not just a day no, I'm sorry, but about. I don't know that day. I was. Eight, uh, I was like. <laughs> 13 months old. And we were also talking about that in the beginning, if you recall. Where were you? All I heard was, like was quite amazing. 63 and that I heard November. Mm -hmm. I was only All right. Number day. one. It is indeed with a UPH, Stephen. And I always get that screwed up. Um, his home state, where many of his stories are set, is indeed Maine. Uh, I uh, get that. I uh, his uh, <laughs> debut novel was Carrie in 1974. Yes. The upcoming novel, which I actually had a post on Facebook about, was Holly, H O L L. Oh, good job. Woohoo. Faith came that. out of that. Wow. I don't know where she got that. Wow. The novel that had the most pages, uh, excluding re released and expanded novels, is It from oh, 1986. Oh, really? 1138 <sighs> pages. And yes, the stand was up there. Uh, and its second release, it exceeded that, but not in the first. Oh, darn. Uh, and as I said, for number six, all of those are indeed his novels, and uh, 11 63 is the date. So the correct answer for the wrong one is D. I think that's a stupid answer. <laughs> I didn't yeah. appreciate that question. I agree with I that. I didn't even. realize the typo. I thought you had put one of his novella books on there. Okay. So screw you, Rob Palmer. Or just I, I'm here in the West. So are you telling me book. you did not put the book that you held up with the right? I page? did not look at this book while answering that question. <laughs> we did <laughs> not get that question wow. correct. We talked about it being the I, I, wrong here, day. I'm here, in the, in the, in the I, I, I'm here in the West. We call that chicken shit. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> chicken <laughs> shit. Yep, thank you. Hey, oh, you are no longer allowed to put typos as answers to questions. There you go. That's a true question. That's what makes it fun. No, I heartily agree with that rule. Guys, I just looked up. And New York Times has eleven twenty three sixty three is the title of the book. What? <laughs> oh, the New York Times is wrong. Oh, Bill, oh, Bill, Bill got you. It's a rounding error. Well, maybe hold, hold, hold the book up the there. The maybe hold it's in uh, well, Australia well, or Thailand. I have a rare typo edition that's probably going to be able to uh, pay no. the rest of my mortgage off. Nobody come get it. <laughs> The answer the picture, he's looking the for with is the article. D. The picture right. with the article Being has what? the correct what date. We just got to give him enough shit so nobody else does that again. Which yeah. novel is considered to be King's bestseller? I heard one team get this. It is The Shining. Yay! Uh, we went back 19, way back in 1977 with 700,000 copies supposedly sold. <laughs> yes. Uh, number eight, the long uh, synopsis that I read about the uh, extension to an interstate highway. Did anybody get it? It was Roadwork B. Yes. Oh. Yes. oh, that was too. We rejected it because it was did. too obvious. Hey, yeah, that's why. That's why I, that's why I used that one. <laughs> <laughs> You're on my list today, Rob. <laughs> You're not winning any points. And I, and I, picked, I picked it the, from his bazillion novels, other names that could have been it, you know. So, okay. Number oh, you mean nine. not ones with just a misspelling? No. Shut oh, okay. <laughs> Number nine. <laughs> Number nine. <laughs> All right. The highest grossing movie based on his work yeah. is It from 2017. Yes. yes. That made 700 million plus. Wow. And It's Chapter Two was second. I never saw that one with 473 million. Nice. Are they going to have It Chapter Three? I, I'm too afraid of clowns to watch either of those. So. <laughs> and number 10, the one room I was listening to got this correct, but they thought it was way too early. The Simpsons movie was indeed first, but it was only yes. two years, right. two years before wow. the Table novel was published. Really good. Good, good category. Except Mostly you didn't, good you didn't, questions. You didn't like my type of one. All right, here's the answer. No, the that was answer. good. I like that because it's a trick question. Thank no, you, Kevin. No, it's a typo. Should not be. We talked about no, it. it we talked about way. it, we, but we actually thought he might have might be about the day after. Right. I'm disappointed that the Dark one. Tower did not make it through here. I have never read one of the Dark Tower ones, so that's why I didn't make it. No, no I, I agree. agree. 
I right. agree, Kevin. It might have looked like a typo. And if we had said yep. something to him in the and yeah. said, hey, Rob, I, I think you've got a typo on that one, Rob would say, no, I no, don't. I don't. And we would have been like, right. the problem, somebody to say the problem with then, those types of questions, Rob, legitimate. is that our brain will fill in the blanks for us. That's right. Yeah, I know. I was, counting. I was counting on that. I don't like yeah, you. Yeah, we knew it was the wrong but day. You screwed yourself up. You screwed yourself up. Well, you that was that, that is shocking that you didn't see that happening. Yeah, Rob, there. that was your team. We discussed it. We talked about that's the day after Kennedy was assassinated. Yeah, that's true. It was. I thought it might have been the different day, but even though I didn't notice it. But anyway, it's making my go. category look much better. Which team? <laughs> hey, 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 which team gets Alan? That's what we're sh we're shooting for right now. So will it be witty? Insert witty Trump title here. We got a five. Maybe it will be, Ellen. Yeah. How about if we can't talk about Trump or Paltrow, can we at least talk about Fight Club? We got six. Okay. Well, you're not getting that's, Ellen. That's consistent. <laughs> Gwyneth wins trial. She and her candles won't have a meltdown. Uh, we got seven. You don't get Ellen. Yay. Who gets Ellen? <laughs> if you can get indicted, you can get indicted anywhere. We got seven as well. And indict tonight. If you want Alan, you better only get none. <laughs> we don't want him. Oh. Eight. Eight. All, All right, Alan. Guess what you're going. Oh. Wow. Sorry, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. It's like, who gets Alan? <laughs> hey. We like having you around, Alan. Yeah, I'll be in last place like I usually am, so that's all right. But you're oh. late for a change. You're not yeah. leaving. All right, everybody get in your pictures. Come on now. <laughs> Turn on your cameras. <laughs> There's Kitty. Caspian, where are you? Yes. Turn on your camera. Oh. Okay. Wow. Caspian. The only time I see him. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> uh, you have a pretty kitty camera. I recognize that Richard Thank Saunders. She's 20, yeah. 21 or 22 now. Oh, that's a good picture, Karen. Really? Wow. Did it work? Yeah, yeah. Oh, All right. Okay. Good night, everyone. All right. Oh, you're Thank leaving you. us already? Miss yeah, you already. I'm tired. Yeah. Good night. Damn! It's only been two, two, okay. two rounds. I need, I need to run close up the chickens. Okay, we'll go run up your chickens. Sunday, Jim. Is this our wait, five minute wait, break? Yeah, five minute break. Minute break. Okay. Bye bye. Uh, yes, bye. Bye. Three. Three. So Susan, I have a a friend here. Um, lives very close by. And he may at some point actually join up with this group here. Okay. Um, I'll believe I, it I when we see him, it. I, I told him about the trivia oh, ages ago. I didn't hear anything, but I was over at his place uh, yesterday. And I said, and he said, yeah, he says, well, he hasn't had a chance to come, but he's following Susan. So he is a follower of you. And amazingly, he finds you interesting. I don't know. <laughs> I, I barely know the guy. Who is he? No, he's... Um, his 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 son was actually a student, uh, 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 a music student of mine, and um, uh, it went to school with Avi. Um, but uh, you know, so he lives nearby, and he's uh, so he you know he may just may just show up. And he say he'd let me know if he when he was going to come. He so he's somebody who's one of my Facebook friends. Uh, he says he follows you, whatever the hell following you is. What's his and, name? Um, uh, Rich. Uh, uh, Rich McFate. Yeah, we have a mutual friend in common. I'll, I will friend him and there freak him out because we're talking about him right now. Mm -hmm. Lives in Illinois. Yes, he's in Buffalo Grove. So he's like five minutes from me. Yep, Alan Steiner is my mutual friend with him. There you go. Oh, funny. Yeah. So he was following me. It's like instead of friending somebody, you can follow their post. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah, either that or he's just troll, he's trolling you. No, but he he uh joined the um, crowd. 
no, but he he says, hey, you know, he's 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 finding some of your stuff interesting. So there you go. Well, there you go. What a shock! There must be somebody out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I need uh, five. I need three minutes. Mindy, I haven't seen you in a long time. No, oh, I I've been um doing photography. Oh, photography class. I used to do, I used to take photography classes also. Ah, do you yeah. still do photography? I, I haven't done it for a while just because I haven't had time. And so, no, I guess the answer is no. <laughs> okay. Well, I've been you... using my phone for taking pictures for a long what? time. You can still take pretty good pictures with your phone. Yeah. <laughs> you just uh, follow the same guidelines for composition and you can come out with pretty good pictures. Yeah, I haven't pulled. I've got my. I haven't pulled my camera stuff out for a long time. So. so, what was what type of photography did you used to do? Well, uh, I used to do film photography, and and then and I would develop my films, and, and then um, I bought, you know, a couple digital? of digital cameras years ago, and and I've just been busy in the last, you know couple of decades and haven't really gotten into it the way I used to be when I was doing film photography. So um, so what type of scenes did you like to shoot? Like landscape or portraits or abstracts or anything that caught your fancy? Yeah, just pretty much everything. I I used to like to, to do scenes um, and, you know, pretty much anything, scenes mostly, yeah. Um, I, I like... You know, to when I would travel, I would like to travel okay. photography. So, yeah. Yeah. What do you yeah, like? I, to do? I, I guess I could say I mainly do like landscape, but not great big vistas, more like the uh, some state park stuff for local. Yeah. 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 I'm going to do baby cam. Oh, okay. <laughs> so is your class finished now? Well, the first night class is over. I'm taking one on Tuesday night now. And me, even though I've been doing photography for about nine years or so, I kind of just put my camera on aperture and kind of left it there. So I'm trying to learn more about my camera mm -hmm. and refine my composition skills. Hey, so guess whose birthday it is today? Peggy start, is joining us. Oh, is Peggy going to join? And she's birthday today. Happy. She gets an indictment for her. Birthday. Just in time for us. Here she comes. I bought cheap jelly beans today, and even the orange ones taste like black licorice. <laughs> I'm so yeah. sad. I mean, my God. What's wrong with black licorice? Yeah, really. What's wrong with black licorice? Licorice is awful. Licorice is disgusting. Amazing. I'm so disappointed. Yeah. How do you feel about circus peanuts? Love circus peanuts. I if do. my chair I'm was if my chair wasn't stay. even and I needed to put something <laughs> underneath. Cindy is allowed to stay. If you talk crap about circus peanuts, we're gonna we're gonna fight. <laughs> oh, I want to know who who likes the spice jelly beans. Oh, oh yum. The booger flavored jelly beans vomit. <laughs> <laughs> no, the chickens like them, are yeah. getting like jelly beans oh, look at those chickens let me, let me tell you something okay, they're five weeks old wow at about that age six weeks a regular sized chicken is about the size of men she's this she's the size of about six week chicken hmm. and she's a she's an adult so those babies are tiny for five weeks they're wow. they're like a three week size of a three week. Are they frozen chip. right now, or are they just are they really still? No, no, they're you're probably I'm probably frozen. They're moving around on my screen. okay because here they're just like really like they're, my they're frozen. They're for oh there they there they okay now they're yeah. ready. okay yeah it's probably well my they're internet. Aww. they make cute Peggy come on cats. my God she keeps trying to join. She says her audio know. is screwed. And we have to have her audio right because you know what happens today. I, 
I don't know why they have where the dark feathers came from, and their final no, their final um, color might be white. They might lose those, and they might be white because both parents are white. So mm. maybe it's uh, some recessive thing. But it'll be, it'll be interesting to see because they'll go through several several uh, sets of feathers before they're full grown. So they change. They've just got a little bit of down on their heads. Other than that, their down is all gone. It's all real feathers. The orange one tastes like black. So the so Thank the you. ones so the feathers that aren't down are those called up? No. Nope. <laughs> Have you named them yet? Um. Well, one of them's Nugget because uh, my wife's granddaughter said she wanted one named Nugget. So. Does it matter sure which one's one. Nugget? <laughs> No, or I guess chicken not. nugget. Oh, <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> Rather foreboding. Oh, the the, the I'm budding I'm... Stephen King there. <laughs> if you if you name one nugget, name one Grogu because Grogu likes some chicken nuggets. Yeah, the uh, mm -hmm. the ideal case would be a, there'd be a male and a female. I would trade the female. No, don't. don't, don't. I would trade the female for another female that's not related to Max. And um, the neighbor said that um, a friend oh. of his wants one. He was over for a picnic, and and I brought Max out. He he really wanted wanted one, so I I said I'd sell him the. Why does it have mail. to be unrelated? What's a little incest between fowl? Well, I just think it would be better. <laughs> I just think it would be healthier for the bloodline. Yeah, probably. I got a name for the other one. Filet. Filet. Yeah. Did you thumbtack a banana to the board there? Yeah, they 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 like to eat the the inside of the skin. It's a banana peel. They I put it flesh up and then they eat that. They peck at it. And huh. it. Oh. They get potassium. Yeah. The things I don't know. Yeah. Well, I discovered I I was eating a banana outside and I just threw it on the ground and the other chickens came around and started pecking at it. So I thought, well, why am I throwing my banana peels away? I'll give them to the chickens. So, so for the big ones, I'll slice them up real, real fine, thin strips, and then they'll just gobble them down, eat the whole thing. All right, so we're coming back. Okay. Peggy, finally get here. I'll see her. Hey, yeah. She remembered that we were going to try to sing to her, so she probably stayed away. Um, Sounds safe. A, during the break, did uh, Faith put the link in about that Disney thing she was talking about? The King Charles clause? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't, didn't see it, but Sterling was telling me about it. You can today. Google it. Okay, there's the there's the link. It's friggin' hilarious. Oh, um, okay. Well, from the Daily Mail, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, no, it's true, apparently. The headline says... <clears throat> Disney trumps DeSantis with legal lo loophole that strips his Reedy Creek Oversight Board of its power with King Charles Claus. Oh, so funny. Okay, I have my list of things to read after I get off of this. It keeps getting longer and longer. Oh, geez. Sounds good. Okay, so Peggy finally get here? No. There she is. Hey, Peggy. Hey, everybody. Yeah, I'm here Happy and I birthday. can hear. That's good. Okay, so, oh, yeah, that's better. Let's use that CNN link. So today is a day that we've been thinking about waiting for for so long, haven't we? We've been thinking so much about what will the day be like when it finally gets here? We didn't know what day it would be. We thought it's going to happen. Eventually, someday, we will come to trivia and it will happen. And it's It'll be Peggy's today. birthday. It's Peggy's <laughs> birthday. <laughs> That's amazing. So you know what that means, y'all. Okay. Oh. La, 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 la. Okay, get it, get it out. Ready? <laughs> any any tone, any inclination, any accent, any speed you want. Any language. Any language, okay? Can I can I do oh, here we go? I'll do a bass oh Happy Karen's United even got day. Karen's got flowers for you, Peggy. Look at that. Aww. Aww. Thank you, Karen. Aww. Here, I, have a, I, have, I have a butterfly. I will I will do with a butterfly. All right. Here we go. 
Happy birthday, Yosaki. Happy birthday, Yosaki. Happy birthday, I'll keep your flowers. That was beautiful. Bravissima. Bravissima. You guys are hilarious. And look, I found a place to finally put this damn butterfly. That's wonderful. Thank you, Peggy. This Thank you for seeing that little. That's a butterfly. Janine's got a chicken. Ooh, that butterfly's kind of flashy healthy. there, Susan. She's she just stay in the house tonight. I think she's sick. She's Aww. always been at the bottom. She's one of my young ones, and she's always been at the bottom of the pecking pole. Uh huh. And so she may have gotten a little packed up, or she might be sick. What's her Aww. name? Uh, this is Little Light. Little Light. Does she shine? Can you diagnose her? Are you saying you have a pecker there that may be doing some harm? I've heard that he, that he was being questioned in New York. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. a different pecker. A different pecker. Okay, so let's do our announcements. Oh God, I don't even know where to start with mine. Um, who wants to start? Rob, you want to start? <laughs> He shook his head no okay kyle sure thing yeah this week on data skeptic i talked to a researcher who looks at survey data taken from like uh, large batches of resumes and tries to make predictions about how people's careers evolve so we get all into his data sources and methods for trying to do that based on historical data that's this week on data skeptic yeah i did see that oh. on the on my thing to watch soon but you know <laughs> what i don't understand you did something else. Yeah, All speaking right. of data skeptic. So I'll put this in the chat. Mm -hmm. I mentioned this a couple of weeks ago, but it finally got published just. Tell us what that is. Today. So I interviewed Kyle and it was mostly about the missing 401 conspiracy theory, which if you don't know what that is, watch the interview. It was hilarious. And uh, we also talked about chat GPT for a little bit because that wasn't so Kyle fun. has an AI background. I didn't even know that. Missing and, 411 uh, was hilarious. Yeah, yeah we, you guys we, we are think, great. It was a great interview. Very good. You guys, you guys obviously just, got along real well and the repertoire and all that was great. I, 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 in unison. I tweeted the article once it came out and I put in the three uh twitter handles i could find that had something to do with missing 411 so we 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 already got somebody come to the page and the wikipedia page and already tried it yeah read what read what it says read what it says it's hilarious i i saw this on my watch list and i said oh my god and then rob goes did you see what was on <laughs> what somebody wrote on the talk page for the david pop uh pop whatever oh, ladies. Ladies. ladies you got it rob no, I wasn't prepared to do that. Go on and I'll come back to it later. Okay. Richard Saunders. Hello, Susan. Hello. Coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast this week, we chat to Kenny Biddle. Kenny Biddle. Ooh, the, um, the a little bit of Biddle. Back. I'll be appearing on the uh, on his show in... Tomorrow. About, tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow, uh, 11 a.m. my time, which will be in the evening. Or the afternoon in the I think it's four o'clock my time cool five o'clock i think we look at the latest issue of the skeptic Ma oh it's all blurred <laughs> we look at the latest issue of this blurry magazine the journal from australian skeptics and see what I is that issue there. all about uh bigfoot is that why it's blurry <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's about loch ness monster and bigfoot <laughs> There we go. We look at some of the investigations and tests way back in the 1980s conducted by Australian skeptics. And the Trove segment looks at haunted hospitals. Ooh. That's all coming up, but I thought we'd take a moment for the Easter egg. Oh, for all the people who listen. Easter is music. coming up. Easter is coming up. We got the Easter egg in today's episode of the Skeptic Zone podcast. I'm with the trivia team, the trivia crew, and Susan Gerbeck's weekly trivia. I've got a 10 sided blurry die there because it's Ooh, blurry okay how many fives yeah. are on that 
one there's only one five folks uh chip in with into the chat with your guests we're going to roll it three times i'm going to unblur my screen so you can see it properly and see if we, you can guess what the dice comes up we got okay. a three a four a one an eight a five a three a it's five. a five it's gonna be five I, i'm saying it verbally nobody's put in 11 or 12 yet that's a good thing here we go. And you'll have to take the word. Pie. Pie. <laughs> put pie in. That's not fair. Pie. All right. Roll number one. I didn't Eight. hear it. I didn't hear it. Did, did, well, right. I know you showed me an eight, but I didn't see. I didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. You skeptics. Number eight was the first roll. Here we go. Roll number two. Put in your Five. guesses now. Did anybody get eight? Somebody did. Yes. Okay. Three, we've got a one, a nine, a four from Rob. And here it comes. Roll number two. A six from Karen. There we go. Oh. Roll number two is eight. <laughs> oh, no. That's what I'm putting uh, in. Eight. I got an okay. eight. Susan, you know what's going to happen every now and then. Okay. Five. Last roll. Here we go. The last roll. Five. Come on, five. five. Mama needs new shoes. Three, five, eight, seven, four, five, seven, and it is a seven. Oh, Ooh, right. Well, got that. <laughs> Carolyn, I think, said that. I did eight, too. Numbers for you at home. If you're playing seven. Along, eight, eight, and seven. And Susan, I noticed that uh, on uh, TikTok, you've been putting up something to do with a seatbelt psychic. Oh, he is going, the seatbelt psychic, Thomas John, he has gone viral. Millions of views on these on these things, and it's incredible. And then we looked, he's sponsoring some of these. He's paying for these ads for other people to put them up on their TikTok channels. Well, so. Susan, I think that's a topic we can discuss in an upcoming mm -hmm. episode of the Skeptic Zone. But thank you, everybody, for playing thank the nice you. this week. I love that stuff. No fives, but okay. So I have the Wikipedia. I ha actually had to retrieve it because it's been deleted off talk, which almost never happens. Oh, there's uh, the five. Yeah, thank you. I knew it was there. So, <laughs> as part of the interview, uh, because Kyle is mentioned by name several times in the article for Missing Four, Wikipedia, <laughs> which is David Politi's uh, Wikipedia page, actually. He has been attacked on the talk page, which is where editors go and discuss what's on the page, what's not on the page. So Kyle has been. Kyle yeah, has. So in the interview, I read to Kyle, who had not seen those things, to get his reaction to him being slammed by uh, the fans of David Polites. So this one doesn't directly attack you, but I, we haven't had anything hit this page in a while. And so I'm pretty sure it's because the it was published, or it could be a coincidence. But anyway, the thing that was published today says... Biased. The writer of this article, I don't the know, Wikipedia article. Yeah, they think it's just one person, which of course it isn't. Covering David Polites is obviously biased against Mr. Polites and/or his work. Just from listening to Mr. Polites talk and reading his work, I can tell he is a very intelligent man who does not do second-level research or below top-notch work. Therefore, if he claims these cases are unusual or unexplainable in some aspects, they are just so. <laughs> The naysayers who say parts of Mr. Polites' claims oh. are untrue or explainable, that would be Kyle, or even expected are indeed the ones who are confused in this topic or are just plain speaking falsely in an attempt to undermine Mr. Polites' work. Mr. Polites is an intelligent, respectable man that does not make false claims. Signed, David Polites. No, sorry. Mom. <laughs> Carol <laughs> Sue Day. Signed his mom. But it could be. Wow, uh, what a world to live in. source for the claim that he's a nice, intelligent person? Yeah, yeah. I, I should put citation needed on it. But no. yeah. He doesn't do second level work. <laughs> yeah. That's, it's hilarious what the people put. But yeah, imagine living in that world to, that everything is so... This, this, oh. is the, the, this one's akin to the one on the Tyler Henry page. Somebody put on the, his talk page, it was a long time ago, 2018 or so. You cannot dismiss the work of Tyler Henry. I love him. And, his, and the handle in Wikipedia was, I love Tyler Henry. <laughs> you know, as a persuasive argument, that's one notch above, I'm rubber in your glue. Everything you say bounces off. <laughs> it's persuasive, all right. All right. So uh, the only thing I have is that I did finally get onto the Lisa Wexler show. 
It's a radio show in Connecticut. She's a probate judge. And she had Thomas John on her show a few weeks ago. I went and evaluated her, the video. I made a video on my channel, Psychics Explained. And I show, he hot read her. I show the image he found on her Instagram page. And she had totally fallen for it. She even called her sister. And they're on this audio recording going, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. You guys knew all about Papa Jack. And oh, honey, it's so amazing. It's so the end of his anniversary. And oh, you know. And, you know, and I was just like, no, this is how he did it. He looked on your Instagram page. That was really hard. It took us like three minutes. And so she, I posted the video I had made on Facebook and I tagged the Lisa Wexler show. And she saw it and she watched a video. She goes, well, that was really interesting. Uh, okay. So we went back and forth. She said, could you be on the show? Don't mention Thomas John, but could you be on a radio show? And so Monday I was on a radio show. It was <laughs> early for me, 7.30 in the morning. And it was nervous. I was nervous because I've never done a live radio show before. And with a person who I don't know is going to be what's the word for it? Like, um, you know, abrasive, like confrontive, or, you know, she believes awesome. it's like, so I didn't know exactly where it was going to go, even though we shared a lot of emails, but she was wonderful. She's polite. She, she even wrote me afterwards saying that she thanks me before, um, you know, learning some of the tricks and she's going to be more careful in the future. And it was fascinating. You guys, I enjoyed it so much. The, her, her reason for believing in psychics was incredibly amazing. The psychology of, of this is what happened. Therefore, I believe in psychics was just like, really? But, but you talked specifically about Thomas John's uh, TikTok without mentioning his name? Or you didn't no, talk about him? No, no, no. Well, I didn't mention Thomas John. I kept it general. And then I... Um, and then they had a call in. Can you believe it? Somebody called in and rambled for like five minutes. And it's only a 22 minute show, right? And so she, this guy's rambling and it made my point at the very end. I, I really enjoyed it. I think this is when I hung up the phone, I thought, oh, I just really blew, blew it because I was trying to think of how to say stuff and i felt really like out of place but when i listened to the audio i said you know i think i did really good i'm really shocked i did as good was, as I was that mark that called in no <laughs> your point? it was it was um tom and in, in hanford it's really interesting to hear it like a radio like oh it's tom and hanford i'm like well who's tom and hanford you know whatever hmm. connecticut you mean hartford hartford yeah that place <laughs> hartford Hoffert. Anyway, I put the link if you guys are interested. It's 22 minutes. It's it's really interesting insight into belief. And Susan thinking on her feet as fast as she possibly can. It's weird. It was it was an experience. Anyway, um, that's all I have at the moment. Uh, I was supposed to be talking to a psychic medium. Her and I have gone back and forth on on Facebook talking about it, but she's I, I don't know if that's going to, it's in it going to happen. She keeps saying it's going to be a Facebook live. We're going to talk about it, but she can't seem to find the time. We'll see if anything actually happens, but she's. Well, very, she should know about it in advance. Yes, she should know. She's the medium, but she's, she's one of these people who is, is open to the idea that she might not be real, but um, she keeps coming up with, well, what about this? And what about that? And and she's very extreme, Psych these skeptics that either believe we're all liars or we're all faking or something, you know, there's no middle ground or, I don't know. So I don't know how it's gonna come out, but I, I like the idea of talking to somebody who's who's actually thinks she's psychic. And I'm gonna do it on Facebook Live. When it happens, I will put out a notice. I hey, still haven't back. gotten an answer to my question, whether psychic readers can enjoy a whodunit <laughs> remind me of that bill right before i do this call can you no they'll say it doesn't work that way that's all i'm you, sure they, that they, they can but they usually choose not to they turn it off that should be the, the title of the book my memoirs one day when i'm writing about all the psychics it doesn't work that way it doesn't work that way <laughs> it doesn't work that way <laughs>
Maybe they read them on their days off. Oh, and I am pretty much done with my book, by the way. I went through, hey. I've got one more chapter to, hey. to finish the citations and stuff. And then I'm going to go through it again, of course. And it's just, it's, it's, it's amazing how much you, revision keeps going in. And, and then I'm hopefully going to find a publisher and, and then I, and see about getting it edited and let's see if we can get it printed and stuff. So we'll see. Anyway, so remember, Susan, we got that editor in our group now. Well, we do. Well, I haven't seen her again, but I do have two no, other editors. Last, last month. She showed up last oh, month. Oh, was that her? Yeah, it was her. Yes, the right, right. oh, So, what a Harry. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, okay. I forgot about that. Thank you for reminding yeah, me. Yeah, so she might be there this month. So now yeah. I have three that I know. <laughs> They're all women. Yeah. Okay, so we ready to get back? Yep. Yes. Get back. Get back. Get back to where you once belonged. Get okay, so we have Robin, <coughs> who I've been stalling long enough to be able to let her get that category written. <laughs> it's done. It's ready. Oh, I'm impressed. Okay. So <laughs> All right. you are up. You have your powers. I'm dying to find out what this is. It better not be Gwyneth Park. Paltrow. <laughs> Muting everybody. I have to say, I have been listening to my my hero, Emily D. Baker, on the Gwyneth Paltrow trial, and I have enjoyed it. Uh, I, I will probably never be a plaintiff in a personal injury case. <laughs> that is not a fun thing to do. Have your Every, uh, everyone should take should check her out. Who Robin just said, Emily. Yeah, D. Emily D. Baker. D. Baker on YouTube. I, I know she's, who she is. I've, I've watched her a few times, but I just can't handle her. She's too. She is quirky she, and intense. She's and too much. I, yeah, she's too much. I follow, I'm following she's another. Uh, sexy. Wait a minute. Someone, someone is too much for you, Susan. <laughs> I know, right? I, I'm watching. I'm following a, a, a lawyer called the Harvard lawyer or something like that. Anyway, she's a lot more mellow, and she's she's got a cute Southern accent and. Yeah, some of those legal commentators are really boring, though. This the one, no, is, she's, Baker she's good. Is not boring. No, but <laughs> she's she's a show in herself, and I I I don't know. I I think she, I know who you're talking about, and I think she's boring. Well, she might but anyway. Be, but I'm able to follow what she's saying. <laughs> I would stop paying attention. I I like I like you're Emily because you she's, are a lawyer, Robin. But I like Emily because she uses the f word a lot and stuff. Yeah, so that turns me off. I just oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. <laughs> She's like, I love it. <laughs> On to my topic. It it wait, there wait, is Susan, a theme. What, what was that pillow what? that you crocheted? What? That pillow, Susan? <laughs> what the hell? Right? <laughs> I'm upset you guys. That's different. She's off the F word. <laughs> okay. Um there's a theme. You will figure it out probably quickly. Question number one, the city of Port Sudan lies on what body of water? Question number two. Wait, wait, put it in the chat. Well, I'm doing three at once. So I'm going to do three questions, then I'm going to press enter. Okay. Janine uh, would prefer you to hit enter and then read them. Just a reminder. Uh, oh, uh, I've already and done I it this way. Read along. I think those are now Janine rules. Uh, Kevin. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> Must I? Well, you need to follow the okay. rules. Okay, uh, it'll take longer, but okay. All right. We all can right. do it. No, <laughs> no, I'm undoing blame, it now. Blame Rob. Please blame Rob <laughs> for bringing it up. Hey, I'm the one who's not a lawyer here, but I don't know if that's right. <laughs> it's your rule. Where do you got that? That's, that's wrong. Okay. The city of Port Sudan lies in what body of water? Perfect. Yes. Paste. Question number two. What is the name for a series of protests and political events that took place in Ukraine from late November 2004 to January 2005 in the immediate after aftermath of the runoff vote of that country's 2004 presidential election? <laughs> And that's my husband sneezing in the background, if you can hear it. Number three, this highly... Gesundheit. Gesundheit. 
This highly caffeinated, it's sneezing season in this house. This highly caffeinated citrus flavored soft drink produced, distributed and created by the Coca-Cola company was introduced in 1979. Uh, number four. 1990 rom-com starring Gerard Depardieu and Andy McDowell. Yeah. A movie I liked very much. I, I, I might know this one. <laughs> Number five. What is the state bird of Delaware and also the mascot of the University of Delaware? India's biggest airline by fleet size and market share. Mm -hmm. Next. <laughs> the outfielders on Charlie Brown's baseball team are Lucy, Frida, Patty, and... <clears throat> That's that's an honor of opening day. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I know. Wow. Imagine, imagine living with that. Wow. <laughs> 30, going on 30 years almost. Um, who died on December 31st, 2021 at age 99? Oh, um, yeah. You're not muted for some reason, Karen. Oh, sorry. What Ivy League school is located in Providence, Rhode Island? I got a problem in here. And finally, Latin name, Ursus Americanus. What species is that? Ah. Quiet, quiet the peanut gallery. Ah. Go back to sneezing. <laughs> Sneezer. Okay. Uh, so now I have to say, go to your rooms, right? I have to yep. say. It's like a magic word or something. <laughs> uh, break out Whose rule is that? Whose rule said that? Is there Open a category, Robin? You will figure mystery. out the category. You'll figure okay, out the category. The, the category, if you figure out the category, it'd probably help you get your answers. Okay, let me add my peoples into rooms, Kate. Okay. Alan's going to five. Bill, you keep jumping around. You're in three. Peggy, let's put her in the birthday room, which is going to be one. I'm going to three. Wait, we're all not here yet, Kevin. I'm here. That's all that counts. What does it matter? What are we talking about? Okay. The theme, we think the theme is colors. So the first four ha do oh. have colors and number and number 10 has color for sure. Yeah. Right. And number what? eight, eight and nine also have colors in them too. Okay. Eight well, is Betty seven White. is Snoopy, isn't it? Okay. No. What if? What about if we go through them and see which ones we? Have One, yeah. To, start yes. at the top. Okay. One. My guess is the Red Sea, but I'm not a hundred percent on that. That's my that guess. That is correct. Okay. Number two. Is that the yellow jacket? The orange red. Was it the orange revolution? I don't know. I don't know. It's the Orange Revolution. Orange, orange Revolution. Revolution. Yeah. Okay. But the next one's orange too. Or, okay. Orange okay. Crush, maybe. Yeah. No. So no. It's That's not, not orange caffeinated. Crush. It's mellow no. yellow. Mellow yellow. Yeah. Yellow. yeah. They were really had caffeine. Four is. Yeah. I know four. Green. Four. Green card. Green card. Green card. I was trying to remember that. Green. Thank you. Five, I'm going to guess Blue Jay, but I'm not sure. For what? 
from the five, the state bird of Delaware. No, it's a blue hen. Blue hen, okay. Blue, blue heron. I mean, all, we got all these chicken people around here. You don't know that? It's a blue hen? Well, five. Yeah. Oh, wow, it's a domestic? Well, that's the, weird. The mascot of University oh, of Delaware yeah. is a blue hen? It's the blue hen. Yeah, there's a blue hen. Silence. Okay, <laughs> India's biggest airline. Indigo. No idea. No idea. Indigo. Indigo. Oh. Indigo. How do you spell it? Indigo. That's with what it's called? That, with a capital G. Indigo. So Indigo. seven must be Sally Brown. Who no, it's Sally? uh it's Violet. Okay. Oh, oh. Sally Brown. I, I yeah. thought it was Snoopy. He's an outfielder. Snoop, Snoopy has to have a color in his name. I know, but he I thought he was. Number eight <laughs> is the person that Peggy killed. Yes. You can still think that. <laughs> well, the person yeah. who killed what? Peggy killed. Yeah. Betty so Betty Betty tell, tell, Bill, tell Bill about it because that was before he came. Oh, Let's yeah. Get the and answers and then we'll get the answers him. and then we'll tell Bill the story. Peggy's evil. Be oh. Betty White is the answer. We had yeah. a thing, Bill, where, where when we mentioned someone's name, they passed away that week. Oh. Yeah. She was the answer to a question. Yeah. Question. yeah. So and then she died is, within a week. Nine would be and Brown University? Yes. Ooh. So then 10 must be the Black Bear. Yes, it is a black bear. Black bear. Okay. Ursus oh, that American. was easy. Wait, who's Violet? I don't. I mean, I believe Violet. You, Violet has one of the characters. It hasn't been in uh, Peanuts or wasn't in Peanuts for several years before, but uh, she was one of the original characters in Peanuts. I would not have remembered that. I'm so glad you you came up with that, Bill, because that is just like yeah. I, was going, I had forgotten about her. I'm going Schroeder Lion. No, I was I was thinking Lion? Sally Brown, Charlie's sister. Yeah, yeah. I don't think she's on the team, is she? I don't know. I just I couldn't come up with another name with the colors. I, she's can, the only one. Can someone read the answers, please? The Red Sea, the Orange Revolution, Mellow Yellow, Green Card. Blue Hen, Indigo, Violet, Betty White, Brown University, Black Bear. Is that all right? You did. You were. I think we have a 10. I think a lot of people got 10. Everybody didn't have a 10. Not everybody. Maybe not that uh, uh, India's biggest airline. I have never heard of that. It's two words, I-N-D-Y? No, it's one word, but they capitalized the G. And it's I-N-D-Y? So it's like oh, I -N -D -I. I -N -D -I. indigo, I -N like indigo girls. Well, it's a color. India, go. I N D O G O. I N D I G O. I N D I. Oh. Indigo. It's a color. Yeah, but I've never seen. I've never heard of an airline. It's local. It's uh, they don't go outside of India. Well, that might be why, because I've never been in India. It's not an international airline, but uh, so it's like Trump Airlines. <laughs> Who would fly on? Oh, I went That's to the like Trump, Trump Casino Trump. once. It was horrible. It, it's um, they're like Trump steaks. They're a bluish color. <laughs> what was was Trump's um casino really gold and gaudy? It was. It 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 was huge. It was big. It was nice and everything, but he he screwed the whole thing up because. He took I mean, big, big, giant loans on it and couldn't pay it back. He didn't make as much money, and it was a disaster for the but people. But he who, does that well, on purpose to launder money. money on it because he yeah. declared bankruptcy. Yeah, 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 that's his mo. Yeah, but you know, he likes to but, hire people for the least amount of money, and then before he pays them, he complains about their work and finds a little thing wrong and refuses to pay everything. And you do shit work and. Then they have to get lawyers to sue them, and they only get fifty cents on the dollar if they're lucky. Yeah. I'm gonna have to put my pillow out more often and, and show it off. I think now, right now, is a perfect time. You yep. should, you should. Um, oh, I should put the the links up again, huh? There you go. It's Thank time you, for Karen. people. It's time for people to purchase their products. I got one of the first ones. Yeah, you did. You should. I convinced you to sell it. You didn't think you were gonna sell it. 
Yeah, I have awesome. I've made maybe twenty dollars. Yeah. It's not it's not a money maker. But it's got yeah. it on both sides, front and back. It's got the same thing on the front and the back. Uh, again, this is something that you did before I got here. Oh, yes. somebody needs to explain to him. Who's, oh, the, the picture she, of the, she looks like like a little angel doing her needlepoint embroidery. Yeah. And this is what she was creating, what Kevin's uh, screensaver is. Let yeah, she's going to go get it. She has it's a like real one that she's house on the prairie. It's oh, called the, Sampler. One, the thing that says fuck Trump all over it. Yes, she yeah. made a real one. She started. You can, you can get it in a coffee cup. Yeah. And when did you tell a story about when you started and when you finished? I wrote it here on the thing. It says this sampler was started on election day, November 3rd, 2020, and finished on inauguration, January 20th, 2021, Susan Gerbic. And I just went through and I used all my old string and I used all these patterns that were just laying around that I've never used childish patterns. And I just started at the top and that's all I did is wrote over and over and over and over and over and over as I was watching the news and it made me feel so good. Yeah. And then Kevin and, maybe maybe put it up on a, a website so people can buy their own. And my and neighbor may be into a pillow. And I, I bought one and it's got the same one, the same thing. You can get it as back. a coffee cup. I've seen people get notebooks or yeah, mouse yeah. pads. Like madness. on Cafe Press or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, thought I'll put it up. I've forgotten all about that. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, here it is. Uh -huh. Rob, Rob showed us that. Well, something tells me I have a lot of tens. <laughs> I think we're going to have a lot of tens. Uh, I will read the answers. Do I have to put them in? Janine, do I have to put them one at a time or can I put the whole lot in in one fell swoop? Janine gets all the hell for it. Put the lot, put the whole for, lot in at one time. Yeah, right for, for answers, I think for it's okay. It's okay. Give it's us the lot. When, it's only when I'm trying to read the previous one and you're reading the next one aloud that it's very confusing. Exactly. I okay. thought you have to ask Rob what Janine thinks. Yeah, ask <laughs> Rob. Check with Rob. Check with Rob. I'm just saying, yeah, I, I when I went, ever since she said that, I've done it right. And it pisses me off have. when she says it and no one else wants to. I I, I started the trend. And he's so I started mad the he's snorting. And now, she, and now I'm being blamed. So I'm really no, no, you're not being I, blamed. Some of I us feel like, like you have stuck up for me and I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. I can't like be the only way. one who has the the Answers. problem of trying okay. to listen to one and read the other. I have to I put them in I have a no, spreadsheet I have to put them in so I, was, I like I like having them before him. Okay, I'm back. Tell us the answers, Rob. Okay, number one, the Red Sea. Number two, the Orange Revolution. Woo. Number three, Mellow Yellow. Number four, Green Card. Number four, I mean, number five, the Blue Hen. Uh, number blue six, hen. Blue Hen. Blue, 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 blue it was a chicken? It's a chicken, yeah. I, I, I guess... I mean, I suggested, well, I asked, was a hard one. is there a chicken that's blue? Yeah. <laughs> so it's a blue I, I doubt it's actually blue. <laughs> well, no, it's it is. more gray, but they call it blue. When they're dead, when they're all blue. A friend, a babe, the blue <laughs> ox. <laughs> oh. Number six, Indigo. Yay. Oh, we got that, man. Whatever. I didn't know it. I've never heard of it before. Did we, did we get air? We have an error on there. Well, I, oh. I changed it because we were discussing oh, it right yeah, before we, we went to Indigo Airlines. So I don't know yeah. if that's a okay. okay that's title. good enough. Okay. That's good. If you got okay. indigo, if you got indigo, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, awesome. number seven, Violet. Number eight, Betty White. Number nine, Brown University. Number 10, American Black Bear. Yay. And I Very good. The Gosh, we only so what was the theme? We only got two. <laughs> <laughs> shapes, different shapes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Famous <laughs> presidents. Random words in English. <laughs> okay. A periodic table of the elements. The gay agenda. <laughs> yes, exactly. N names that people have named their rat. There you go. <laughs> Lots of good. Okay. And, hey, he's got a category coming up. So you, mm. Or does he? Does he? Oh, I'll look him at. And here I thought it was a, they might be giants. Uh, oh, theme. yeah. 
Okay. Insert so witty good. Trump title here. I gave you Ellen. Uh, we got nine. Nine. Okay. And uh, then I gave you Deb. Forward. I gave you Peggy. It's her birthday, so she better have done good. We can't talk about Trump. Let's talk about Fight Club. Nine. No, no, no. Come on. You got to go down. Okay. You also get the bird wrong. <laughs> Gwyneth <laughs> wins right. trial. Uh, ten. Ooh. 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 If you can get indicted there, you can get indicted anywhere. New York. We got the bird wrong. Nine. Nine. And indict tonight, which was uh, Robin's own team. Two. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Two fives. No. Two fives. Just like Wait I did. Did my team not get the blue hand? No, no we, we got, got it. it. We had oh. 10. Okay. Did my team not have the blue hand? It's going to get you guys. I got, did, I got Flockmeister on my team. Did I, I, did I, I miss it or did we not hand? point out that it was in, in color order? Somebody did point that out. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Biff. I just missed it. Yep. Oh, so, red, that, that was, orange, that was a nice yellow, touch, green, Robin. Blue. We like that. Yep. Indigo, yeah. violet, Indigo Betty, violet, white. Wow. Yeah, we, I actually, we noticed my, that my, too. My question for green was actually about the green mile. <laughs> and I had to change Another it Stephen King have, reference. That's Stephen <laughs> King. Oh. Then we didn't I didn't, I didn't pick up on the, the colors in order. Right. I didn't. Yeah, yeah no, Mike. Mike no, noticed it first in our. I, in our I picked round. up on that like in question two when, when yeah. she asked. Oh, you would. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, Carl. Would. Hey, Mike. <laughs> well, what's uh, great is we didn't know the answer to that, but because of the color order, we knew it had to be orange, and we just guessed Orange Revolution and happened to get it right. Oh, nice. Yeah, it worked out in our favor. Okay, let's go to Ron. So first, I just wanted to mention that uh, Karen is psychic. She <laughs> figured out what my uh, category is. When you were, everyone was trying to figure out what the category was on the last one. You got it right. Luann? Category oh, is it's elementary. Too. And there is a mystery theme to this. And if I can get the stupid cat to get off of me. You don't call your cat stupid. Uh, Especially when we're recording. My that's, God, that's like get... bad luck. You know, okay, stand by, muting everybody. <laughs> and this one is guaranteed to get the scores back down, I, I would expect. I'm going to be giving you fun facts about the periodic table. You need to guess which element I'm describing. Carl is not allowed to go take a shower right now. I wanted to have Luann. Uh, Luanium, unfortunately, is not one of the answers. One of the answers, Freddie Mercury? Yes, actually, like, there goes that question. Okay, um, first one. This element has only one electron in its outer shell, and 80% of it is produced for catalytic converters. Number two. This element's name is derived from the Greek word for smell. This bluish white element is used in the manufacture of ballpoint and fountain pens and record player needles. Number three. This element, named for the Greek meaning new twin, colors glass several shades ranging from pure violet through deep red and warm gray tones. This glass is used in astronomical work to produce sharp absorption bands to calibrate spectral lines. Numero four. This element is the first one named for a living person. It is a synthetic element about which little is known. It is presumed to be a solid metal, but since only a few atoms of it have ever been created, it is difficult to study. All right, you give up, you can have a cat. Okay, number five. This is a lanthanide element. It has a bright silvery gray luster and can be cut by a knife. It is the least abundant of the rare earths and its metal is easy to work. It slowly tarnishes in air, 
but is more resistant to oxidation than most rare earth elements. I just want to ask Janine, what cup are you drinking out of? You're on mute. Did you have your element? I have three of them sitting in front of me. <laughs> is it an element cup? One of them is Death Valley Stovepipe Wells. Okay, sorry, Ron. That's okay. I've obviously bored uh, Susan to death. Okay. <laughs> Number six. This element is one of three named for the same Swedish village. It is finding uses in nuclear metallurgical applications when added to vanadium. It lowers the hardness and improves pliability of the metal. Its oxide adds a pink hue to glasses and porcelain enamel glazes. We got Tom's attention here. Look at him. He came running into the room. The element, the element. And this one hopefully isn't too long. This element is a lustrous silvery metal that is so soft and malleable, it could be scratched with a fingernail and bent into nearly any shape. It's nature, it is quite rare and nearly always found as a trace element in other minerals, particularly in zinc and lead, from which it is typically obtained as a byproduct. Its estimated abundance in the Earth's crust is 0.1 parts per million, a little more abundant than silver or mercury, according to the Royal Society of Chemistry. I was getting very verbose at this point. Eight, this element was discovered significantly later in history than either of its periodic table neighbors, and it is not widely used. It remains an important element to study because it is produced by nuclear reactions of uranium and plutonium and can last as harmful radioactive waste for millions of years, according to a 2003 report by the Pacific Northwest Nuclear Laboratory. Understanding its chemistry is essential to ensure safe long-term nuclear waste strategy. Storage, sorry. Number nine. This element was the seventh synthetic transuranium element of the actinide series to be discovered. It was discovered unexpectedly along with fermium in debris in the first large, large hydrogen bomb test, which took place in Pacific on October 31st, 52. A year before I was born. I remember it well. <laughs> And number 10, although named after a river in Germany, the majority of this element comes from ores that are found in Chile. It's believed to be one of the rarest elements situated in the Earth's crust. The crust contains somewhere between one half and one part per billion of this element. Billion with a B? With a B. One billion dollars. As Carl Sagan would say. Billions, billions. And there are your easy 10 questions. Except so Carl Sagan never actually said that. Yeah, I know. Ah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> He's not here to say he didn't, so. Yeah, seriously, he might have. Okay, well, that's it. I guess I'm sending people away, right? You bet. Uh, all right, hang on a moment. Uh, doo -doo, I just clicked the wrong button. I'll get you there in a moment. Why don't I see under participants send them away? It's under breakout rooms. Oh, that's right. Darn, it's been a while. Look at that. You did it. Go away. You, did it. you guys are so learning so many new things. I'm so proud of you all. Okay. I know I know only a few. Why are you laughing? Luanium. <laughs> Luanium. The last time I studied chemistry was in high school in 1967. So consequently, I'm counting on the rest of you once again. I've done this jigsaw puzzle like four times now. Okay, let me share my screen. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Tell me the answers. I'll write them down. Well, Leonard's here. And Jamie is here. Jamie, you should know. Somebody. Oh, yeah. Between the two of these, I'm surprised they're even. Leonard would be telling us, but he's muted. Okay. Number no, I, one I, for I, the catalytic I, I, converters. It is. 
gold? Uh, gold is not used in catalytic converters. And um, it doesn't, and not, nothing used in catalytic converters has only one electron in its outer shell. Okay, keeping in mind, this is might be a little bit incorrect. Who knows? What is the yeah. answer? I don't know. So they're... Um, for so smell, what? the Greek word for smell. Jamie, if you're talking, we can't hear you. I can see that you're not muted, so I don't know why we can't hear you. Yeah. Unless he's, he's right. Well, he said he's on power from the from the mm. generator. Yeah, the power. Can, can you Remember? hear me? Yeah, yeah now, we can. now we can. Okay. Number one, you see the, the materials are like palladium, um, platinum, polonium. It's not polonium. It's plat See. Can't be can't be polonium. That's that's radioactive, and they don't use it in catalytic converters. Um, rhodium. Rhodium. Well, but it's, you don't think it's platinum? It might be. I know that there's something in catalytic converters that it's one of the things people steal most often because it's yeah, rhodium. platinum. Rhodium and platinum and palladium. Yeah. I think it's rhodium. I, I, it says eighty percent. It's produced for catalytic converters. Yeah, well, I don't, um, I, I don't know what else rhodium is used for. Um, Which I don't is know. a good but idea. Those, but those are the three materials, platinum, rhodium, and palladium. That's used um, as a reactor. OK. Oh, I got, I got my questions confused. I was reading the two. OK. OK, okay so number two. Um, what's used for record player needles? I thought that was diamond. I did too. Smell? The huh? Greek word for smell. Manufactured bulk point. Diamond points. isn't a name, oh. it's a, an element. An element, no. Carbon yeah. is. Carbon, yeah. Could carbon be the Greek word for smell? Well, carbon could be what diamonds are made of. It's not a bluish carbon, white element. It but is carbon white. is an element. I think. Diamonds are nothing yeah. like compressed carbon. So the yeah. the element um, that comes from the Greek word for smell is osmium. 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 Oh, that's a good answer. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good answer. Uh, o s m o s m i u m. That's a good answer. Because carbon is not bluish white, but osmium no. is. So that, no. yeah. Um, let's see. Greek meaning twin. Germanium, number three. Sure. But who, um, what are the, 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 um, the, oh shit, what is the? Um, oh, for number four is Seaborgium. Seaborg? S E A. S E A B O R G I U M. Oh, to uh, calibrate. Um, it was obviously named to somebody named Seaborg. Glenn, yeah. Glenn Seaborg. Oh, okay. Oh, when, no, number, no, I think I'm wrong on number three. Uh, what is that called? Oh, not lithium. Um, shit. Um, oh, crap. Um, Five is not aluminum. No, Correct. It's not aluminum. Doesn't tarnish. Oh shit! And it's not, and aluminum is not a lanthanide. Oh gee. And, uh, number three is not it's not germanium. Um, what's the name of the, the twins? Um, Gem oh, just Gemini. Gemini is the twins for number three. Well, that's what, right? why you said germanium, right? Yeah, but so there, there is no there, there is no element. Oh, new twin. Gemini. Oh. I'm like this glass, I used to make it, this glass that's used- Is that for neodymium? Neodymium. Um, could be. What is it? It's not I mean, germanium, you said, right? I'm, I'm second guessing myself. Well, let me, let's continue before I, as I, as I think of it. Okay. We still um, haven't figured out the lacinite I'd element. Oh, uh, let's see. Could it be 
cadmium? Oh, it's a lanthanide. Cadmium is not a lanthanide. Um, we don't even know what a lanthanide is over here. So tell me what we're looking for. It's um, it's an element in the lanthanide series. So it's none of which are novel? none of which are common. Okay. They got they got great names, but is it least cesium, abundant in the um, rare earths. The rare earth. So the rare earths like cesium. The rare earth. No, that's that's Cere not a rare earth. Cerium. Yeah. Is a rare earth. Um, lanthanum. Oh, of course, that's a lanthanide. Yeah. Oh, could be lanthanum. But it's a metal easy to work. Um, let's see, magnesium. Not not a lanthanide. So most of the metals are brittle. That's easy to work. Cadmium, tellurium. It's most resistant. Could it be cerium? I, I think that I think that is a lanthanide. Yeah, it is. Cerium. I'll put down cerium for now. B or yeah. F? I've never heard C. of it. C. B E R I U M, yeah. Yeah, I don't I've never seen the metal. I, I used to use cerium oxide all the time, but I've never seen the metal. Yeah. So I don't know. Um Oh, but that so there's See. the terbium, terbium. Um, there are actually four elements named after the same Swedish village. Um, You're the great guesser, Leonard. Give us one. You know, there was a theme to this category, right? No. Yes. <laughs> so if you needed help, deciding you might know what the theme is and i don't yeah, think but it's i am i am i thought no, it was it's, elements. It's, no it, it's a theme the elements he said he I said it, it's that there's elements and it's a mystery so yes. so I, I i haven't figured out what they are um and don't worry no one else has either <laughs> added to vanadium there's a bunch of I, skeptics just trying to figure out the, the elements um, I think it's words that have I U M at the end. Uh, that's going to be a lot of elements. Well, so far, it's all the ones we've had so far. They all start with different well, letters of the alphabet. So that's far. that helps a lot, Susan. Well, it just eliminates a few. <laughs> so, what did we say for number six? One do you know do you, is one of the ones for Swedish village that you know end with I U M? Almost every element does, so that doesn't help. Stockholmium. Nobelism. Nobelum. Nobelium, but no, that's not. So the 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 um, uh, elements uh, named those? after this this village are terbium. Terbium and erbium. Terbium is used. Maybe terbium. It's the most terbium is the most popular of the three. Terbium. Terbium oxide yeah, but, is used. But, but is it? Oh, but it erbium. Oh. It's the, no, it's Should not chromium. Um, no, but erbium. Erbium, I, erbium er, I think it's it's erbium, E R B I. -M. Erbium oxide is used. Erbium, E R B I U M. E R. Erbium oxide is used as a color. Right. Number seven, um, that could be magnesium. I'm trying to think of very soft materials. Magnesium is extremely soft. Is that possible? Magnesium is soft. Yeah. Um, so is cadmium. Cadmium we can cut. Gallium is even softer. Well, gallium is is almost a liquid at room temperature. Yeah. So you just that's why it bends and you just touch it. A little more abundant than silver and mercury. This is the first one you said that I've heard of. 
Yeah, that's why magnesium might be. Gallium is not. Um, magnesium is really soft. You used to you used to play with magnesium ribbon. You burn magnesium ribbons. Yeah, Magne it burns an incredibly brilliant white. white. Yeah, so it's soft. Let's see. Um, Should we try the rest and come back if you want? Okay. Um, I gather you guys need a few more minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Just a few. We have three left. All right. Uh, number two, no, no, no. Landed, you know, number eight. Um, I, I can't eight pick it out from any of the, the other transuranics. Um, I mean, produced in nuclear reactions of uranium plutonium doesn't narrow it down to anything because everything no. is. If we knew the theme, then, it would make sense, probably. Yeah. I can't see a theme. I don't see any theme. No. And uh... it's long, safe long term nuclear waste storage suggests it's used in nuclear reactions, right? No, like it's produced in nuclear reactions. Huh? It, said, it, it, it says earlier that it's produced in nuclear reactions. And, but it, it must be, if, it, if we're worried about storing the waste, there must be waste, right? And in insignific significant enough quantity that. Yeah. They worry about storing it. So it's used, it's it's a used in commonly in nuclear reactors? It's not used, it's produced. I'm sorry, produced. Is there anything um, that's produced that would fit this? Um, hundreds of them. Okay. That's the problem. No, that's, there's not a lot of that. Um, the only thing that comes to mind is uh, americium, but I'm not sure that's got a long enough half-life. Oh, yes, you know, that's, that's the, uh, right. So the half-life is very short, and that's why it says ensure safe long-term, so the half-life has to be extremely long. Yeah. So I don't know. So it has a really long half-life. Well, the the the, uh, the longest half life of a common element is uranium two thirty eight, but that's that's not it. Now it's produced by nuclear reactions of uranium and plutonium, so that's not it. It was discovered significantly later in history. <clears throat> yeah, because because it's uh, because it's produced in nuclear reactors. Okay, so Leonard, just give us a guess of the things that you know is produced in a nuclear reactor because we only we still have two more. Like questions. I said, there are hundreds of them. Hundreds, yeah. Leonard, what was the one that you you mentioned? Americium. Yeah, well, let's put that down. Americium. Um, Emmer, as an American. A M I C I U M. Okay. Oops, nine and ten is the same. What do you got for number ten? Yeah, I, I guess I copied the wrong thing. So let me number ten up. is is although named after a river in Germany, <laughs> the majority of this element comes from ores found in Chile. Um, the river could be the Rhine. Is there an element yeah, what, named that Rhine? Not that I can think of. Um, oops. Power just came back. Oh, cool. Oops. Let's I'll be right back. Got to check our generator. Hold on.
Okay. I have no guess even. So can you get, do you have anything on it? I don't, have a, the last I, don't, I don't even have a guess. I can't remember what elements were discovered with what atomic bomb or with hydrogen bomb test. Um, Rutherfordism. Um, Rutherfordium, but no. Um, and 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 the thing about it being one of the rarest elements in the Earth's crust, that's definitely um so. oh i got it number number three i'm wrong about number three number three okay. is holmium number three holmium h-o-l holmium m-i-m h-o-l-m-i-u-m okay holmium okay <laughs> jamie's happy <laughs> he woke up all of a sudden well, I, I, I knew he knows some of this because this is where he used to work with this stuff. Yeah, let's see. Um, number, but number 10, let's see. River in Germany, that should be in your bailiwick, Jamie. Yeah, but it's Rhine. The Rhine River is in Germany. Is there a Rhinone, Rhine, Rhinidium or something? It's named uh, after closest, Germany, but it's found in Chile. The closest is Ronium. Ronium? Rhinidium? That's, but that's not... That's not I right. think it's an element named after a river in Germany. Um, Do you know what astatine is named after? No. America, uh, Which one, Leonard? Well, I'm, I'm trying to make number 10 fit with its uh, description. Right. And the two, oh. <coughs> the two rarest elements that actually exist um, are astatine and francium. And francium is certainly not named after a river in Germany. So you want aspartine? Aster, astatine. Aster. Oh, the river, the river Aster. Aspartine? Astertine, A S T E R T I N E. Yeah, the river. A S T A T I N E. Astatine. A S T A T I N E. T I N E. T I N E. Okay. The river Ast, I guess. Right. I think well, I, I, know know I, I, I gotta I you guys need a few more minutes. No, just to do the two minute warning. Yeah, do the two minutes. Don't worry, just go ahead and close it. Then we'll have two minutes. Okay, yeah, because the other, as usual, Carl's team is done um, and they figured out the theme, which amazes the hell out of me. It I'm really, I'm really cannot figure it out. I usually can do a theme, figure it out, and this is not helping me. Well, out. I, 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 I don't know. I've never even heard of most of these things. Um, well, I'm okay. thinking it's some play on the words or the way they're yeah. alphabetized or. The first letter is I, I'm I'm trying everything, but I'm not coming up with anything. No, I, I I was suspecting it was something chemistry. All right, I I will close down. Well, that would explain why I'm not getting it because I, I nothing is coming to mind. When you thought it was that German German one, and it had the word German in it, and then you came up with American. That, but that's wrong. Oh. Should I hope I'm not wrong about germanium? I change it to homium. It's okay. The other ones wouldn't fit that thing anyway. No. Give me an answer. Homium, I'm sorry. Give me a guess oh, on it for nine. You're always good at guesses. Einstein, Einsteinium? Einsteinium. Why not? I mean, the, the, the clue that it's the seventh artificial transuranic element 
is bizarre because all transuranic elements are artificial. What is a trans? What does that mean? That trans. Gil, are you really asking? An element whose <laughs> atomic number is larger than that of uranium. Oh, okay. Transuranium. So that makes sense. Past uranium in the periodic table. That makes sense. Yeah, that that's actually uh, and and that was an easy question. Sure. And of course. And, and it's it's wrong. It, there is no such thing as a transuranium element. It's a transuranic element. But uh, there's a lot of mistakes like that in this category. Okay. I hope I'm not second guessing myself in number three. But too late. Okay. Yeah, we knew I, the I, theme. Then it makes sense. We we I, I have a yeah. feeling that with except with the exception of. Uh, Carl's team, we might very well be seeing another lighthouse. Uh, well, if it was all me, yeah. <laughs> with me, it would definitely yeah. be. No, we've got, we've got at least two of these right. Well, that's that better might be a good score in this game. <laughs> that's better than a lighthouse. <laughs> yeah. I'll bet you number three. I'll bet you I screwed up number three. Oh, well. Yes, number three, chromium oxide is used for calibration because of their absorption lines, for sure. Germanium, I never yeah. heard of germanium being used for calibration. But germanium fits in twins, so. <coughs> Sounds like, Faith, you have to create one and sell it. Happy birthday, Peggy. It's the first time I've seen you on the screen. And Thank I you. think I missed the singing because I was rescuing my sick chicken. Oh, sorry. It you was know, beautiful. I can't tell you how beautiful it was. You you can replay it over and over because this is recorded. Oh, oh I'll, I'll go back and listen Peggy, you for can't what I tell missed. her how beautiful it was. You, you, you can't were, tell her. We could tell <laughs> she was <laughs> deeply touched. Hey, I can't cry. Just to cry. It's I literally cry beyond description. No. Even you can't her her dog so successful, you should have more. George, <laughs> George even cried. <laughs> She oh, can't tell her neighbors crying. <laughs> Everybody was crying. Cindy, don't I mean uh Susan, don't forget the link to the Trump pillar. Oh. oh, I just put it on my Facebook page, but I can put it right here. Yeah, you guys. Here's yeah, we should put I'll put it on our Facebook pages. Yeah, that'd Susan. be nice. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, Billions and billions. I hear many. Oh, billions and billions. Yes, yes, but that's 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 a quote that he never said. <laughs> Here's a link to my uh, T public site where you can get the T-shirt, mugs, pillows, masks, anything you want with the with the with the creative art that I was able to on channel. Facebook right now. <laughs> I was able to channel that. All right, Ron, what'd you come up with? Okay, just wanted to let you know that there are actually two mystery themes in this one. The The primary theme was to come up with a sub uh, category that was hard enough that Susan will never ask me to do another category again. And <laughs> I think I may have been successful in this one, except Carl, from the sounds of it, ruined it and figured out the other theme, oh, which you will God. find out again in a moment. So, number one, I'm not going to reread all these, Thank but um, first one is rhodium Ooh, oh so close and th <laughs> threw in a couple other things like atomic numbers and who discovered them oh boy thank, thank you thank you number nice <laughs> number two this was not invented by donnie and marie <laughs> osmium okay. mm. osmium number three which is the um, the new twin neodymium? Oh. Really? I think a few people did get number four. Thank you, Zeke. I have to tell you something. Oh well. This seaborgium. Ooh, seaborgium, huh? Number five, the 
Thulium. And his close friend Thallium. And there was Thallium. Thulium too. and Thallium. Thulium and Thallium. <laughs> and and here's one of those like three Albert. elements named after the Swedish town of Itterbium. Oh. Itterbium. I see the thing. I see the uh, Ron. It spells out Ron's team or something. Um, you're getting there. (coughs) If I knew the answer, I'd have the answer. Ron's. It's Ron Steiner. You Ah, got it. (laughs) Seven is Indium. No, I should have thought of that. Of course. Number eight. Indium. Oh, jeez. Is. Oops, indium. Oh, sorry, Neptunium. Neptunium. And Seaborg was not only coming up with Seaborgium, he also <laughs> came up with Einsteinium. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And last but least, you guys were naming <laughs> just about every river in Germany. Not that many people mentioned the Rhine. We did. Perennium. Yeah. Yay! Oh, yay! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. What if we Ron did river but Stein. didn't know how it was written? Yeah. So if you look at the first letter of each element, it spells out my name. Oh. <laughs> yay. We, we, we did that, but we had a bunch of C's. C, 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 C. We had all the wrong answers. <laughs> so it didn't spell your name. That's my other name. <laughs> Let me get these. Yeah, you, you, you have another name now. <laughs> yes, I have a feeling. <laughs> we, we thought it was this, ben this as could a jerk. change the scores around a little bit. Do we, we have a, a keep it is exciting? There, is there an element called lighthouseium? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and what if we got the correct river for 10? We just didn't know how it was spelled. Um, what did you call it? The river we called it ry- rhinomium. Like. No, I wrote no, it. No, we wrote said rhinium. I wrote it. Rhinium. I wrote it, it rhinium. Was it right? Okay. Well, but it's, it's got to be rhinium. There's rhinium. no I in it. Don't try I'm to take our only. Po- don't try to take our only rhinium. point away, Faith. <laughs> Wait a so second, we, you guys. I had to step away. So, what was the theme? Everybody the theme got ten. Look at the first letters of all the answers. Wait a minute, Ron. Rob, you're not actually arguing for lenient spelling. R O N. No, I'm arguing that I spelled it exactly the way she wrote it. Okay, T secret. Wait, S T E I N. And what's that spell? Lighthouse is 5.0. Keep going, Susan. E R. Ron Steiner. I was trying to find all elements with the word Ben in them, but I couldn't find any. So. Oh man, where's the third thing? What? The third thing. Second theme. The second oh, thing. the other mystery was she's trying to get something I wouldn't. You never choose me again. It's special needs. I, I no, we want more wrong. Yes, more I wrong. second that. Ron, we don't like this. Go, I, I liked it, it even though I did poorly. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Go back to Rad. Did Carl really get this? You said Carl got that. Carl got yeah. the theme, which I assume means he got all the right answers too. Or, there, there were there were several questions I wasn't sure we had the right answers to, but uh, once I got the theme, it's good to switch it up. The <laughs> problem is you need to know enough answers that you can construct the theme so that yes. you can get the rest yeah. of the answers. All right, <laughs> insert witty Trump title here. <laughs> title here. We got we got a big fat zero. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay. I haven't seen one of those in a while. We have. Yeah. If we can't talk about the whole thing, hold it, hold it. Hold it. We got Einstein. We got the Einstein. No, we had that for the wrong question. <laughs> well, we did it anyway. Oh, if we could do that, we got a few more answers then. Yeah, exactly. If we can put them in any order, then then yeah, we got a few. I don't think it spells his name if you do that. No. Okay. What is what is it you get for the Ten. Fight Club? Ten. Ten. All right. Ooh. Well, that's that's a wild. That's a game changer. Yeah. Okay. That's so a, quite a spread there. If you can get indicted, you can get indicted anywhere. Two. Okay. Ragger, okay. Uh, Ragger, second, Ron. second. That's the second two. <laughs> okay. Gwyneth wins trial. Five. Wow. Indict tonight. Indict tonight. One. 
Yay! I don't feel so bad. Yeah. Wow, well, <laughs> we've got we've got a, a change of uh, plans there. Look at that. That's good. Makes well, the average is pretty good if you get rid of the outlier. So next week, yeah. I have Gil and Kevin. So just putting that in mind. So we should put Ron on his whole category. He gets to do all the categories. I, mean, I will not be here that day. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, something will have come up. I don't yeah, know what yet, I'm but something Europe. will come up. I don't know what day that is, but I will be busy that day. <laughs> Everybody complaining about Ron's category, write a better one. Yeah, man. No, that was good. I'm not I liked it. It. I liked it. You can put me in. Okay. I got Coley and I liked it. Peggy's go Peggy, the birthday girl. She's going for it, you guys. It might all be about indictments. I, I I would much rather. Thank you. <laughs> Study your indictment history. All right. Supreme Court decisions. Okay. Mike, what are you going to round us up at? He said we're all going to hate it. Yay. <laughs> He's not, it's a mystery, mystery category. We're, we're ready to despise to it all, Mike. We but I said he can't, and make a bunch of can't write our so mood today. He gets it right. It's the psychic category. He's he's sitting there. I don't know what he's doing. Mike, are you there? <laughs> I'm mute. He's still starters. muted. Unmute. The psychic category. We have to guess. All right. I'm trying to figure out how to. What is, what is this background? Okay. Hold on. Oh, okay. I'm not going to share this. I've got a new computer. So I. Oh, we, uh, hold on. <laughs> Are we supposed to guess the name of the computer? No, we got I, I, my... choices. All right. All right we'll do that it gives you long enough to All go right. buy something out of so my I'm my not going to share a, an awesome picture of my nieces for this, but Aww. my nieces are both about to turn 18. They're both about to graduate high school and they are both about to go to college. They're twins, of course. Um, and so as their uncle, I'd like to be able to advise them as to what college to go to. But the topic for tonight's bonus is name. They have applied to and gotten into approximately somewhere between 14 and 15 colleges. Name any of those colleges. <laughs> All right. What? That may be too hard. So what I will provide is... <laughs> Um, the Name uh, colleges that his twin nieces have applied to and been accepted in. I like oh, this shit. randomness. Do we, get, do we at least get the state? Do you have an idea of a major? What country? <laughs> in the, in the, the, they live? Do they live where you live? In the, the University of Willamalo. The sports team name and the location of all the uh, colleges. What? Oh, Mia has huh? been accepted to a college. Team is the Camels in New London, Connecticut. The Statesmen slash Herons in Geneva, New York. And that is two colleges that combine. So they have two different well, men's and women's college. The Mules of Allentown, Pennsylvania. The Dutchmen of Schenectady, New York. The Red Devils in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. The Cougars in Worcester, Mass. The Catamounts in Burlington, Vermont. The Phoenix in Elon, North Carolina. The Thoroughbreds in Saratoga Springs, New York. The diplomats of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, the Sharks of Boston, Massachusetts. Mia was waitlisted for the Bison of Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, and the Tribe in Williamsburg, Virginia. Sarah was accepted early decision, which means why she only has one. The Cavaliers of Charlottesville, Virginia, and Sarah was also accepted, even though she can't go there because she had early decision, for the Panthers of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So name any ten of those uh, colleges uh, for a point each. One of your teams will get one because I know the one. I know so, one. So we're supposed to name the college that the college that is has this okay. as that team name and is in that city of any of okay. these. Okay. Does your nieces know you're doing this? Yes, I was actually I had a I had another dumb topic, but then I was talking to my niece uh, Mia the other day and we were going over all her she's trying to decide you where thought to go. this topic was better. Yes. <laughs> and I said, oh, you've got, a, you've got into 11 colleges. And these well, are that was, just that's, colleges. That's a good point, Carl. This is a good topic. If anyone knows any, I mean, 
And if you well, okay, I get it now. You're supposed to say. Okay. Hey, the other bonus round was list 10 things I was thinking of 20 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so Hush, save that. Carl. Hush. The other one was also a it. difficult category. You should be happy with this. This means that you have this in the bag. Nobody can catch up with you. <laughs> no, no, no. This is Hopefully a least. My team is already 11 points behind the leader, so this won't knock us out of winning. If anyway. you know your sports teams and your if you watch places. The, if you watch the NCAA Final Four, you would maybe know two of these. And if you go to school and have driven past one of these colleges on your way What's to your What's NCAA? College, you know. Is that North National Carolina college, Accelerated college. Americans? What? Assholes. I, 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 I know the National Phoenix Collegiate one. Athletics Association. Yes. I told yes. I told Ooh. Susan ahead of time that everyone was going to hate this topic, but and, and I said you can't ruin our mood today. Wait a second. Uh, I don't think yeah. I know the one. If you weren't following right after Ron, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and send us to our rooms, Mike, so we All can right. Where is share the... at the screens. Breakout rooms. By the way, someone said before, if we if we exclude the outlier, we got a really good score. If I take away the 10, the average was a two. So there you go. <laughs> okay, Alan, this is all yours. All right. This team for this reason. Let's share my screen. And I will be well, right I think back. These are all, these are all like what? Uh, I, I, Good for I, I, East Coast people because most of these are on the East Coast. I'll be back in a minute. East, East Coast, and I think are these all are these all um, not uh, uh, Division One, like the Division Three universities. They are not There's Division One. A couple of Division Ones, like not I said, Division two of them were in the NCAA tournament, which I think is all Division One. Not very but, many of them. Tonight has definitely been the definition of social trivia. Because <laughs> I've been enjoying the social part much more than the trivia part. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, how about the cat mounts in Burlington? I think that that would be just Vermont, the University of Vermont. You think so? No, I, okay. I, well, what else? I don't know. I'm definitely not much up in this category. Yeah, these are all East Coast too. Um, um, is Williamsburg? Is to Williamsburg? Make it easier, I'll put answers in yes. parentheses. Okay. Is Williamsburg William and Mary? Is that where William and Mary is? Yes, as a matter of fact. Uh, where is yes. that one? Yes, the tribe yeah. Williamsburg. Yeah, down yeah. About, it's right next. To, it's right next to the historic. Okay. Yeah. And you said what is it again? William and Never. Mary. Is it like university or I don't know? We'll yeah. just call it William and Mary. We know uh, we everybody, Mary. everybody just calls it William and Mary. Yeah. That works for me. Okay. We're getting there. We got two. If <laughs> those are go. both right, we have more points than we did in the previous round. Woohoo! <laughs> it's only, only where way to go is up. Huh? Yeah, exactly. After the last round, all we can do is go up. Okay. Uh Sharks Boston. The, the uh, should we think that's Boston University or we think their mascot isn't the sharks? No, they're, they should, they're not the sharks. So, <laughs> on this, and I don't know anything about the statesmen and the herons, but there's that, um, Wellesley and what's the men's college? Wellesley's now women's too, but they combined. Oh, yeah, so what did they what did they combine with? I think Wellesley was the women's. But I don't know. But what it says name, name either. So it's like he's do they not have a new oh. combined name or is he saying I guess maybe they combine, but they still have separate names. Maybe, maybe they have a hyphenated name. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Either that or the the women's teams go by the women's uh, university name and the, yeah. the guys. Yeah. yeah. And now yeah. now if they get divorced, do they unhyphenate their name That's or it. you know? <laughs> Well, out here we have this um MIIS, which was Monterey Institute of International Studies, but they got bought by um, Middleburg, Middlebury Institute, so they didn't have to change their their letters. Oh, well, it just it stood for different words. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's see. Any of these others that anybody has any clue? I'm on? just trying not. To, I'm not looking at the the nicknames. I'm trying to. I'm trying to guess the, the, cities, the cities. Yeah, the cities, but that's yeah. Saratoga Springs, Boston. Charlottesville, uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. the skinheads. 
<laughs> yeah, oh yeah. That. Yeah, any of these that are going to be University of so and so, we should go with. But I don't even know if any of those are. Well, I know Pittsburgh has a university. Um, oh, I can hear is... the ice cream van. Oh, Richard, get us some ice cream. <laughs> I, Seriously, I, I'll always I'm, run out I'm, for the ice cream man. I'm tempted, but I don't have cash anymore. Oh, I, know. oh. I, hardly, I hardly ever have cash in my wallet. They don't. They don't have a little like uh, square swiper thing. They, I, they must. They, they must. must. Yeah. You would think they in must. today's day. I mean, it's 2023. Yeah. And it's and it's even in the future here. So yeah, yeah. There you go. It's a uh, playing um. um de, 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 yeah, green sleeves. Wait, I lost oh. track of what we're trying to find. This uh, uh, the, the universe of the universe. university names. The university of like isn't it a state university? Well, yeah, because think. we have the Lancaster and also. Carlisle, so or and, and there's also Allentown. Um, the in Allentown. So are any of those and Panthers, Pittsburgh? Where is the University of Pennsylvania? Is it in Pittsburgh? No, uh, no, no. It's it's in uh, not it's a, not Happy Happy Valley or whatever the hell it is. But that's not it's none of those. None of those. No. Okay. Darn it. Well, there is a university in Pittsburgh because one of my relatives went to it, but. Well, there's a, bunch, there's, a, there's a bunch. Yeah, uh, I was going to say, there's probably more than one, right? Oh, we sure. We get some more? No, we have two. We have two? Two answers um, down, which wait, is better it's, than it's, last round. So it's name Pittsburgh. some of the, um. okay, so the, the, uh, there, there's those colleges, they're not like D1 uh, uh, sports schools. They're like the um, Ivy League schools. So like Harvard and um, I don't think Yale. any of these. I don't think any of these fall into that category. No, well, they're not the famous ones, but they're like the other ones, like mm -hmm. like William and Mary and Wellesley, and um, so some of the other ones. You I, did I, Wellesley, I, so we don't know who Wellesley combined with. Yeah, but I don't know if we need to know, do we? Geez, we have a lot either. of Pennsylvania ones. We have like four. I they just, must like just Pennsylvania. noticed another one, Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Just for the hell of it, how about with Worcester? Because I can't remember exactly where they are. Dartmouth, or is Dartmouth in Dartmouth? I'm trying to remember if it's the town of Dartmouth or if it's oh, in Worcester. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. Mm -hmm. For, for which one? Was. Where? For the Cougars, Wor uh, Worcester, Worcester. Uh, Okay. Or just, well, put down put down Dartmouth for now because, but I think Dartmouth may be in the town of Dartmouth. I can't remember. Dartmouth. I don't remember if it's spelled with the U. That's it. Okay. Close That's enough. Both. Close enough. We're putting it. There we go. Okay. We got three. We have three answers. So we think none of these are University of Pennsylvania. I don't think so. Pittsburgh, put Lewisburg. Put, put I mean, it, if we don't have times. answers, I'll put it down four times. Five no, times. no, it's a bonus category, so you can only put it down once. But I think you should put it down. For which one? What's, what's that? What, University what, which of do we think is, is closest to being the University of Pennsylvania? Oh, we have to have it right? Yeah, you unfortunately. Have to match oh, them up. oh, 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 never mind. That would be thinking, my guess. I was just thinking you just had to name 10 colleges. That we're on this list. Well, no, I think we have to know. Let's what... go Wellesley. Let's put Wellesley for the Statesman Herons in New York, Geneva, New York. Like okay, if we put said... Wellesley, but did they change their name when they combined? Mm, I don't know. No, so these well, twins, based upon these based twins upon are going to go separate phrase, colleges. No. They're going to go to different colleges from each other. How interesting. Yeah, that people do that. My friends' boys did that. Even twins do that. Yeah, yeah. Jan Janine. It says name either, so that leads oh. me to believe that they they didn't change the name when they combine. They still go by their two okay. separate names. What? So what? I, I so what university? The, what what university? Panthers, I would what say. University? Let's do that one. Be University of of, of Pennsylvania. Which one? Uh, what? The very last one. Yeah. The this yeah. one. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no. That's I, I don't even waste the time. That's not for absolutely not true. That, that's not. No? no, that's absolutely not. Uh, but uh, the Panthers, all right, Alan, we're oh, going to remember no. you just said that. Stop, 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 stop. Pitt, 
Just put Pitt, P I T T. Oh, okay. Or the Panthers. Pittsburgh. One? No, I think it's the Pittsburgh Panthers. So just okay. put Pitt. You know, P I T T, or Pittsburgh. Okay, that sounds that sounds right. Um. Uh. Let's see. Um. What what university would be a nickname waitlisted? The uh, Harvard, <laughs> the Harvard not... waitlisted. No, no, no how, that's how, that, that just means that she's waitlisted for the yeah, school. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Haven't okay. we had the Cavaliers? I mean, in Charlottesville, Virginia, haven't hasn't that been like something we've heard before? Mm -hmm. The Cavaliers recently. I don't know. No, um, Cleveland Cavaliers or something. Yeah, that's a basketball team, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um. Charlotte, so could it be the University of my favorite? My favorite uh, here, nickname Virginia was it State University. My favorite nickname isn't here. Is that it's the uh, the Swarthmore the Swarthmore hockey team were the uh, Swarthmore mother puckers. <laughs> well, here in here in a uh, county next to us, uh, it's the it's the banana slugs. Yeah, the banana slugs. Lewisburg, what buys Lewisburg? Um, New London, Connecticut. Allentown, Pennsylvania. That must be uh, Billy Joel University, right? <laughs> <laughs> Mike, do you just have the two the two nieces? Yep. Oh, that's so cool. Well, you a nice a relation. You you have a close relationship with they, them. They have a younger brother. <clears throat> That's it. That's yeah, cool. I'm trying to have a close relationship with them because I don't have kids and I need someone to take care of me when I get old. Yeah. There well, you that's go. good. That's good. You know, just for the hell of it, if with Boston, why don't you put MIT? Oh. Because it's, yeah, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not the big. It's not of the big universities. I don't think. Do they have sports teams at MIT? I thought it was just academics. They 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 probably have a team that you know it's like all teams. Teams. they all have they something. At least Those have teams. something. They would have a they would have a tennis team or something. Yeah, they at least have a mascot. You've got to have a logo <laughs> for your university. Or they have a they have a mascot. Uh, 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 but you know uh, what? I think their mascot is the beaver. Oh, well, they they took a beaver too. Like mm -hmm. like Carvalis? because they're in they're engineers, they're engineers. Oh, yeah, I don't right. get it. Beavers. Oh, oh, beavers build dams. Okay, I get it. Beavers are the engineers and the hardworking. That makes yeah. sense. And well, I highly recommend the book Beaver Land. We're just about finished with it. So good. Is it a thriller? No, <laughs> it's about beavers. Oh. Is it like Watership Down? No. Do they kill each other and they have wars and stuff? It's factual. So how, how, do they have it's wars how and kill the each other? Beavers, how the beavers engineered the land. It's really interesting. And I just learned today in the book that, well, I have family from Virginia, and I thought they could be the slaveholders in the family. The Northeast had slaves and my boston family probably was more likely to be slaveholders and their slaves would have been indigenous people oh how oh, yeah wild yeah uh, it wasn't sorry just... i guess i guess i guess yes. 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 thank you i guess I'm, I'm almost sure it's going to be wrong but i was looking at the thoroughbreds uh because i mean like something like uh colgate uh, um, I'm not sure that that's what they're called, but uh, I don't remember where Colgate is, but uh, it's in New York. Colgate, Janine's, like as Janine's in the category is good. She's going to yeah, do a like category on beavers, you guys. You better watch out. Do we want to do like oh, University of Connecticut that. or but something I could, like that? I, I might finish that book, yeah. You might be able, well, of course you'll be able to. Because what do we got now? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. We're down to seven. We have seven. Wow, you guys have done good. I mean, oh, we're, 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 yeah. 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 we're hoping yes. some of Thank them are right. Up, Susan. I'll walk away think, and, uh, and you'll have where's more. It, where's the, the University Campbell's of Connecticut? In Connecticut. 
the camels university of Connecticut. Greenwich, maybe? I, don't, I don't think they're i don't think they're the camels are they Brandish? I don't know. is it in connecticut you seem to Brandish? know the east Brandish? coast university it's better than i do i don't know any of the east coast universities but i i know that mit is is the beavers because Okay, university. Camels. I mean, you know, I'm putting it just because it's better than not having 10 guesses. One, two, that should be eight, right? Yeah, one, two. Yep, that's eight. All right, anybody else have any, any guesses? This red, the red devils are driving me nuts because I, I absolutely. Yeah, that sounds very familiar. Well, it's and yes, so Pennsylvania New, red devils. Because New Jersey has them, but. Oh, the oh, whole, yeah. um, hang on. Oh, because yeah, I was, was going to say, the, um, uh, cause, no, it's in New Jersey. Jersey I, Devils. I was, no, no, I was thinking of um, the, um, oh, what's it's in Trenton or what the hell is it called? Uh, Rutgers, but that's not it there. It's in New Jersey anyway, Rutgers. You know, we'll know all these universities, but... Uh, most of them, anyway. Adrian's in New Zealand right now. She sure is. She, she just, yeah, posted, she, on, she just posted, coming, posted on a group on Facebook that I'm in. She'll be oh. coming back to Australia for one day while it, her boat docks and then she flies out so I'm going to meet up with her and interview her about the woo she encountered cool. oh, wasn't that nice to see Adrian you have to finally meet her yeah but it's it's like we've been working together Adrian and I have been working together for almost three years so it wasn't uh, it was weird because it's like we, we've already met lots of times anyway yeah it feels like yeah. you've already met I was, yeah. I was gonna I was gonna ask you that. So that that is actually the first time you met in person. Yeah. Cool. That's great. Wow. So She's was she tall. taller than you thought? She's tall. No. Oh, is no, she? Because oh. Every, everybody said she was tall. So I was, that's exactly what I was. You were expecting. expecting it. Yeah. Yeah. It was Brandy who was short that surprised me. Yeah, yeah Brandy's very, very like, low. Oh, you're my height. <laughs> <laughs> it was cute. <laughs> Uh, well i'm glad you guys do this how we doing we need be, to do we're, we be, we've got look we need two more well you, you heard the 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 thing we did under the harbor bridge susan what did you on guys do under the bridge yeah. i don't know if i should ask well, on, on the show the, we, what we are you showing us show. That's beavers. the beaver. That's from Oregon. Uh, that's Benny. Oh, that's Benny the beaver. I know that. I haven't beaver. listened yet. Uh, you were with me the... when I took that picture, I'm... Susan. On the latest <laughs> show, so, uh, Adrian. I'm way Larry behind. Record from under the Harbor Bridge. I'm way behind. I have. Okay. I haven't been out gardening or going for a walk or anything. Oh, okay. I will get to it. Promise. I well, definitely oh. I'll get to it because, of course, I will. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. The, but it's out of our misery. Yes, no, please. that is absolutely incorrect. That is it's that better than a blank or come up with an answer and I'll change well, it. No, because University of Pennsylvania is in Philadelphia. So our, I know team that. Is, our team I know, is 11 but, points behind. So yeah, it doesn't matter what we get, Alan. This could be a this could be a, a, a suburb. Do I just click close all rooms? Yeah, it could be yeah. a it could yes. be a oh look at that. Susan doing her balancing act. Good job, Susan. Good job. <laughs> I, I'm just so talented. You guys have no idea. We need other Pennsylvania colleges, then, Alan. Do you got uh, any? Like, oh my God, Pennsylvania know. colleges. <laughs> There's a lot in Pennsylvania, that's for sure. There's like I don't know years. anything about colleges, let alone Alan, in what Pennsylvania. about Phoenix? Do you know North anything North. about Phoenix and North yeah, Carolina? It's, yeah, it's hot. So, <laughs> oh, not that one. <laughs> not that one. No, okay. so Phoenix is the Phoenix is the name. Elon is the uh, is the uh, is the town. Right. Doesn't, that doesn't help. 
Well, how about uh, nor how about uh, uh, University of North? Well, North Carolina State University. Of, I don't know shit for for about this one. U- I don't care. It's better. How than, about uh, UNC? Never. Just call it UNC for this one for uh-huh. North Carolina. Yeah, University of North Carolina. Uh, that's shorter the type. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. I'll you take only it. have a, less than a minute to go. Yeah, uh-huh. we got less than a minute. All right. I, I, went, I went to school. I, I, went to, <laughs> I went to school in Philadelphia. I should. I and I, I. But I didn't know all these schools. Kevin probably knows all of these being so close to that area, right? It Alan was was, my... was that because you were uh, not in your right mind most of the time, or because you well, were no, doing I, certain I, things? Was, or... He was so busy just, studying. I, I can tell school. you what was in Philadelphia. That was it. okay. <laughs> I don't think people in the East Coast are quite as geographically like oriented as people in the West. In yeah. well, that's interesting. I haven't traveled. I mean, I've done some traveling, but I'm I'm bad with my geography. And there's, there's anyway, a so. million million schools out there. Oh, that's sure. That's true. That's true. I mean, we have a lot of schools, but they're you know all the kind of related. Yeah. Incestuous. <laughs> All right, everyone back. Wait a second. Aaron has the look of I got everything right. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I'm in charge. All right. All right, I'm about ready. Wake up, Mike. That was very different. What are they majoring in, Mike? Uh, Mia wants to be a teacher. I'm not sure which Sarah. Like, if I, I figured out how to share their, I think I can share their picture. Here, look, there they are. There's them. Oh up. my gosh! Oh, and then there's that's Sarah on the left and uh, Mia on the right. How cute! Or are they, is that is that a height difference or just the way you took the picture? Mia is taller. Sarah is. That's is a lot taller. If it's the picture's accurate, there. Okay, so I'm going to post the picture. I'm going to put these in the. That's the best part of this category is seeing pictures of your every. They're adorable. Oh, I and just they kept their curly of... hair. <clears throat> I just so thought. Of, I, I just thought of a Boston school, but uh, well, there then... we go. The. Yeah. Uh, ah, and I know. I know. College camels. The. Uh, I don't know where did I put the rest of that? The uh, statesmen and herons of Hobart and William Smith Colleges, the Muhlenberg uh, College Mules, the uh, Union College uh, Dutchmen, the Dickinson College uh, Red Devils, the Clark University Cougars, <laughs> University of Vermont Catamounts, the Elon University of Phoenix of Elon, North Carolina, the uh, Skidmore, Skidmore College Thoroughbreds, Franklin Martin College Diplomats, Simmons University Sharks, Bucknell University uh, Bison, what? William and Mary Tribe, the University of Virginia uh, Cavaliers, and the Pitt Panthers of Pittsburgh University. Or I think we got two. <laughs> yeah, that's where uh, I'm at. No, I uh, got three. Did we, we have three? to match the team job, name Alan. to the college, or can we just Did name the college? Name ten, any ten college. If you name have the name of the college. Somewhere it did not require you to match them. So wow. see, I told you guys we could have just that's, named colleges. That's that's what he very clearly said. The rest of the thing it's made a no standard sense, bonus format. <laughs> Ten items. So, All right, Rube. Where where are the answers? In They're in the, the chat. chat. In oh, the there chat. they are above. Wait. <laughs> Well, what's the, the what, what's the what's the, the thing college. after uni- university? Smith, I doubt anyone. Mm. What's what's got. the what's the last thing that's just Pitt? Yeah, yeah, that's the name Virginia. of the school. Pittsburgh, or it's also called colloquially Pitt. I, I saw there's too many people University talking. University of Pittsburgh. Yes, it's also no. Yes, but it's also called Pitt. Okay, we got that one right, Rob. Rob. Uh, I don't see that written anywhere. I have it written down. University of Pittsburgh. We put we we, we wrote Carnegie Mellon. No, we wrote University oh, of Pittsburgh. Uh, no, I told you to take the screenshot. Did anyone else take the screenshot? I'm looking what? at it. Carnegie Mellon. 
He does not want that point. Pittsburgh he refuses to take that point. Drop, drop your gloves. University <laughs> of Pittsburgh is what we wrote down before we wrote down William and Mary. We have five. All right. Well, just we'll take just it. Take, take it, Mister Eleven Twenty Three Twenty Three, or whatever. <laughs> Seriously, it's called the textual variant. Hey. Can I share? Can I share my screen? Why? Oh. Why? No. Why would the loser? Because I was tracking it, and someone <laughs> said no. No one else wants to see it. Spelled University of Pittsburgh. If you Lord. share it, everybody goes. <laughs> well, I stand defiantly. I refuse to accept this point. Right, Rob, did you remember me this. saying that my daughter applied to teach at the University of Pittsburgh? Do That's fine, but I have on my screen oh, Carnegie sure. Mellon. Thank you, Jay. We game. added Carnegie Mellon to make her. Oh, man. So, stop fighting everyone. They say. Oh. <laughs> Look at the twins. They're gorgeous. Look yeah, at them. They were so nice when they were young. Now they're still nice ish. But... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, this is, so, uh, this is being recorded, Uncle Mike. Yeah, Mike. Don't they might want to watch. So I'm just going to put this out there Ooh. next week. I need a bonus and I need a category. I can do a bonus if you can't get anyone else. I got a bunch waiting in the wings. Okay. Do I have another player category? If no one else will down. come forward. Okay. Put Jamie. Jamie said. No, Jamie's going on the 13th. Do you want to move it up? Oh, no, no. I know it's the 6th next week oh i put you down for the wrong week okay so no jamie we'll put you down and am i, okay? I had you on the i had you on the following week susan i'm doing next oh week no that's right? so jamie gail kevin peggy and carl next week okay Sorry, okay. okay we got it okay never mind let's go do scores now this should be interesting scores all righty so Insert witty Trump title here. Three. Three. <laughs> <laughs> if you can get <laughs> indicted there, you can get indicted anywhere. It's up to you, New York, New York. I have it down for five. Okay. <laughs> you can duke it out with Rob later. <laughs> we love you, Rob. Don't Indict tonight. You're muted, oh, Robin. Nine. Oh. oh, you did not. You had Kevin wow. on your team. That's why. Kevin is there, yeah, too. We start. We started out. I said I have attended two of these colleges, and my sister attended another one. Oh, <laughs> so I I knew a number of them straight off the bat, and then Gwyneth wins trial. Four. Don't sound bad, but you got three. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. Team, team one. Four. Oh. Yes. 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 Wow. Yes. Look at that. Back and forth. The little team that could. Despite my best <laughs> efforts, they won. Bill, yeah. no, Rob, Karen, Kevin, <laughs> Terry, and that Robin. You guys kicked ass that nine. If you even though we did terrible in chemistry. <laughs> yeah, is, one point. Is anybody, has anybody ever won with a with a score of one in one of the categories? I mean, yes, yes. Probably. Yeah. probably. Probably. That might be probably first. lighthouses. <laughs> I, I actually yeah. like, like as that. much as we're making fun of, of Rob. I mean, Ron and uh, Mike for their interesting. Oh, those were good categories. Categories. Oh, yeah. It makes it more interesting. It, it does make it more challenging and it makes it more I like. Oh, the I, like it when, I like it when somebody in the league absurd, can but... lose. I like yeah. that. Do you want yeah, a really challenging Mike. bonus next week? No, no, no. It's okay. It's no. okay. <laughs> Mike's explanation to me, I was a little confused at first, but then once we got into it, we're just going to have the college that has this mascot. Right. But Kevin, oh, yeah. you're in the East Coast. I, I, but I only got two of them. I'm lucky. I'm lucky if I can find Pennsylvania on a map. Well, no, that's it's not true. I know where Pennsylvania is, but it, it's, way, it's, it's it's almost out of equivalent. The way the scores played out on that, I think it uh, very validates. Yeah, you got five points on average. So it must have been. That's about what you want to aim for. 
Yeah. So I was pushing for College of St. Rose, and then they talked me out of it. And good I'm thing glad we did. talked to you out of it. I was wrong. It was my cousin went there, so I thought it's an Albany. It's got to be, but it's not. <laughs> it's, it's not, not. on the list. All right. So, Caspian, you got to come and help me with this red puzzle. He started a puzzle. It's almost all red pieces, and and I spent three or four hours on it last night, and I got about four inches finished. So, just hey, you know. anytime you need two puzzle pieces put together, just call me. To one. Just two to two. one. Well, they have one of these puzzles that's super hard. It doesn't have any outside edges. The outside edges are still puzzle edges. Oh, so dear. <laughs> well, I, I'm not into killing myself on these things. Yeah, no, I could tell that puzzle solution. what to go do with itself. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, I've done some hard ones, but boy, this one's something else. Red Riding Hood's hood, and it was all red. Certainly. Why would you try that? Why would you do that? I don't know, but we did it in three days, my family. <laughs> Did you just cut the pieces and glue them? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my suggestion was going to be you pulp the entire thing, press it out, and then paint whatever you want on it. No, yeah, it's kind of an, or of just use it as sort of an abstract that, that would, collage thing. That would let, work. Let me show you what this is because because uh, I can because I'm right here. By uh, the way, I have a bunch of marshmallows nothing. and make a puzzle crispy. Yes, tree. Ron. I will be competing in the American Crossword Puzzle Tournament this weekend. Just Ooh. thought I should bring that oh. up. Oh. oh. Break a pencil. <laughs> like I actually your leg, but I more bring about it. six of them for this thing because I need it. Here, here's the puzzle <laughs> Caspi and I started. And say hi to, Ronnie, say hi to Wordle for us. I don't know if he'll be there again this year. Ooh, it's, it's uh, Susan, can I share for just a second? Sure. This is this is my favorite puzzle. Do you guys see that? Oh yeah! Oh, you beat me to it. Oh, then. Wow. Yeah, that that that's where they found out that uh, the different puzzles use the same uh, puzzle, puzzle piece well. slicer, so they oh. they merged a train puzzle with a uh, uh -huh. with a oh, horse puzzle. True iron horse. <laughs> and that's then, like and a then twenty-five I'm, piece puzzle. While I'm sharing, uh, the memes have already started. I like this one. <laughs> I thought that one. I thought that one was pretty good. Did they use a thing called a steel rule die to cut the puzzles? It's a piece of wood with a piece of metal embedded in it, like very thin, and it has the a shape. Rule and they just made press of steel. It. It's called a steel rule die, and it's a piece of wood that has a thin piece of metal that takes all those curves, and then they uh -huh. press it into the cardboard and it cuts it. But they Thank make them. You. Thank you, um, Richard Saunders, for sharing my post on uh, the Lisa Weisler Wessler. Yep, story. I'll enjoy watch, uh, listening that, watching that soon. I've got to go, everybody. Nice to see you all. Hi, Richard. Hi, Richard. Hi, Richard. Thank you. Okay, hi everybody. For us. Good team. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Jamie too. See you too. next week, everyone. Bye, Ron. All, right. Bye, all right. So we'll see you guys. Bye, soon. Alan. Take good care of yourselves, and night, uh, and good maybe night, I will put up a post on Tuesday and see how many people want to watch what happens, if anything. What that time? Would be yeah, let's hope. I don't know no when they're going to do it, but it let's might. Hope be we're let's scheduled hope no for our like volunteer service for our master gardener. What? Oh. You, what's more important, that or gloating? I want to just watch, but I don't know. We'll I see. can gloat later if I if. We're going to be at the greenhouse. Well, I don't know. I could, I could try to getting a hold of the the district attorney and ask him if he'll do it at a time that's good for the the West Coast. Let's do that. I'll say Janine. You well, know, could could you could you contact the Proud Boys and see if you can make sure there's no violence? Do you guys think there's going to be violence? I mean, like I wouldn't count. I wouldn't bet against it. Yeah. I think it's a matter of how much there will I be. I wish I, I there think going they're going to gonna attempt it, but I don't think we're going to have any violence because they've been Do planning. You remember this. what happened in Charlottesville with the TV torches? I don't think that's going to happen. I think they're. I think okay. America's a little too prepared. Kevin, what did you share? Is it live stream? No, that's how to cut puzzles. Oh, oh. <laughs> he's got here. his. He's got his priorities. Yeah, I think there will be violence in places that are. Like somebody's going to shoot something or somebody's going to attack something. I mean, that's going to happen. But I, I mean, I've, 
Over I this thing, it. I don't think anything's going to happen. I predict oh. there will be a mass shooting somewhere in the U.S. within the next couple of days. That's oh. not fair. You know, that's normally going to happen that's, regardless of an indictment. Hey, can money. somebody answer the yes, question? I'm well aware of that. There's somebody in your family, their name starts with an R. <laughs> no, actually an not. M. An no. M. No, what I want to ask you guys is, I don't want to look at it because I... I absolutely cannot handle this, but the shooting that just recently happened in that college, uh, that school, I did see the woman with the AK-47 and you saw the picture really close, you know, like a live feed. I saw a photo. She's got a bright red hat on, a a baseball cap. Is it a MAGA cap? She's a transsexual or trans... um... All I heard is that she said it, that doesn't mean anything. There are trans people that are MAGA supporters. Really? So am yeah, I? Yeah, so, so did you yeah. guys answer my question? Did, is she MAGA? Was the hat a MAGA hat? We you know, know, I don't, I don't think know. I have released a video. lot of information on her. I watched the body cam video and I don't think I could tell. But you could yeah. see from the angle I saw it was bright red. Yeah. And that's you all I saw. I was basic. You know what I think? She was trans. She was going to this Christian school 20 years ago, and it probably didn't go over very well. And she was probably bullied and, and yeah. you know, in trouble. I, all I, the don't, time. I don't She was know. forced there by her parents. Know, That's what she was upset about. It's but yeah, she was upset about funny that is they're trying to spin this on the fact that she was on hormones, taking too much testosterone, and that. That's possible. Not as like the gun, and it's so like you're telling us people with high levels of testosterone shouldn't have firearms. So we should. Um, agree. That could be a problem. So man, I, I, I disagree. Guns? I think that would be a great way to limit guns. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. I think, yeah, I agree. Anybody with so, a testosterone level of um, so we don't know, but above it, zero. also I heard about this trans thing was that she was using or they were using male pronouns on some website and that's all i've heard is that that is extremely common amongst people who are trying to remain um incognito to certain people it doesn't mean anything right and that's what i'm thinking too because we have several of our gsow editors and lots of other people who have facebook profiles and they use male pronouns on their and a male name a lot, a lot of their pro- will do that they're just hiding the out they don't want anybody to know who they are and so I, I've not heard extremely anything. Extremely dangerous to be out as trans in the United States. Yeah, especially, especially like at Christian. a religious school. And I think Bob's supposition now, was I'm not even sure probably, it's necessarily more dangerous I, than I, a religious school. America is just very prejudiced. And it yeah. hasn't gotten I'd be interested to see how it turns out. I'm just guessing, but yeah. Well, there's a I, manifesto but, and they're gonna publish it soon. So we're all gonna know exactly what was on this person's mind. Yeah, but I can tell you from but, talking to other trans men that have told me that the testosterone, testosterone treatment um, has a huge effect on their mood and their emotional state. And yeah. I think, you know, if you've gone your whole life without being bombarded by testosterone um, and you suddenly get it, maybe you get too much of it um it could do it could, something it could trigger I don't, something i don't know okay. i think that's, that's dangerous dialogue to to get into because of what trans people are facing right now yeah i mean I'm not, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying i'm not saying that on facebook i'm saying well, that it, it's possibly <laughs> good but i think it's there's not enough research for us to speculate and yeah. i think that's going to give ammunition to people like bobert and marjorie taylor green to sit right. and justify it's, not. Well, they've already got it. They've already got it. But it's, Su- it's, but Susan, to, to pass laws to say yes, that Leonard, we're not going to cover I'm, for I just watched gender the video. Affirming care. It is not a MAGA hat. Okay. It's just it a, red hat. a red It is a red hat, and on the front of it, there is no writing. Okay. And the country is filled with people who suddenly get a huge amount of testosterone. They're called teenage boys. Yeah. <laughs> and they have anger <laughs> issues, a lot of them. Yeah. And, but they're, no, we don't. All able to get <laughs> and, and the, the question is goods, the question yeah. is is it the hormones or is it the fact that we have really crappy mental health care access in this country yeah she, and she, she, the access yeah. to firearms and weapons yeah because That's it doesn't it. sound like she just made a spontaneous decision she had planned it yeah, yeah. there's something heard, going on with her have you heard chris yeah. rock's solution don't ban the guns just make bullets cost five thousand dollars each they'll be real <laughs> careful who they shoot with them 
Yeah, that's, so that's going to work forget, really, that's forget. really, really workable. <laughs> no, ban it isn't, but a, it, ban AK if it was, it would be pretty cool. And AR-15s, yeah. there's no reason you should have an Leave AR-15. the kitty on city screen, yeah, just kind of in the corner. It's The thing is, is oh. we don't know yet. We're all speculating. It's too soon. It's right. awful. It's I, I just was wondering about the hat. And AR-15, there is no reason any person in this country needs a weapon that could be considered semi-automatic. Well, you that's don't. The whole it's long like the one senator said, you don't take an AR-15 out hunting a deer because if you do that, you pulverize the deer. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just, true either. It's just finances yeah. for the breach. The, the but nobody, fired by so everybody I've asked to tell me like, why do you need an AR-15 for hunting deer. compared to having another like a personal pistol, something else that isn't going to throw off tons and tons of rounds? Like, why do you need yeah. that? Like, a gun's whole purpose yeah. is designed to kill something. There's no other reason behind it. Oh, no. Did your power go out again, Jamie? Just went out. Hold on. Oh, you hear it. Hold so on. this has been depressing. Thank you very much. On Peggy's birthday, too. Is Peggy still here? <laughs> no. I think she went. Yeah, we well, let her laugh, Peggy. Left. I got a joke then. It's not depressing. Please tell us something. Uh, how, how, do you, how do you kill a blue elephant? Wait, wait. No, 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 it's not. With a blue elephant gun. Yeah. How do you kill a pink elephant? With a pink, with a pink, elephant, pink elephant gun. No, you squeeze so him until he turns blue and then shoot him with a blue elephant gun. <laughs> I, I was going to say, not funny, Kevin. I was going to say, <laughs> sober up. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to go on Jasper talk. The doll on TikTok. I, I, I watched a whole bunch of those just at, because, Faith, you recommended them. And absolutely, it's no. it's a special side of TikTok that I absolutely love. And there's there was I can see you liking that. I can see you finding that. He see me create my own little TikTok video. I just said no. Babe, this is awful. No, it sucks. Yeah, it sucks. It's That's a stupid awful. doll that they've got all this makeup on, and the doll talks. She's like. a deformed Barbie doll, and she talks, and it's hilarious type stuff somebody banned their account because they reported them as being 13 years old and the doll got up and defended herself <laughs> i'm 22 the funny ones are the dogs and cats that talk those are funny well this one people are people are actually doing makeup and clothing tutorials to dress up like the doll and reenacting the doll's videos in real time and it's Men are doing this. Women are doing this. It's shut up. They aren't doing it in Tennessee. Uh, That's right. Susan, yeah, Susan, I would like be arrested. I would like to screen share to sure. erase the images of guns and elephants and stuff, please. Please, please show us something pleasant. Okay. This is important stuff, people. Kitties. I bring you cats in sync. <laughs> Oh. Just, keep, just keep doing it. It's 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 all it is is cats and sinks. <laughs> the cure for what ails you, cats and sinks. Is that what cats do all the time? My cats when don't do it. This cat would. Sleep. Have you seen the ones of cats that will get in the showers with their owner and walk around go. the edges? There you go. That's no, all. I've never seen that before. That's all. Yeah, somebody shared that. Somebody sh shared that on Reddit that they say their cats will do that, and then I got on this long like chain of reading how their cats like to jump on their shoulders, <laughs> and then they decided. <laughs> The cat realized it was a bad idea to do that when their owner got out of the shower. Oh. <laughs> Carl, I'm not quite sure what that what she's angle. looking at there. <laughs> what angle that is? Demon cat laying on the footrest and his leg. Oh, cheeseburger cat. Oh. And, then, and then he tried to take our cat and do a keyboard cat meme where he put oh. it from the keyboard into the. Da, 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 da. Okay, that makes there's two cats there. That's what's going on. <laughs> oh. they, see, they see Carl in the mirror. Oh, that's when they were little. Yeah. Look at, look at me. Oh. Look at those tails. <laughs> yeah, they're like, I want to do it. I want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it. Uh, okay. Oh, look at our big cue. Oh, he's got a shoe shoelace now, yeah. <laughs> 
And the other one's going, what are you doing? What do you got over there? Let me look. I want to do it too. Yeah, <laughs> missionary. <laughs> Have you seen the cats with cucumbers? They they scares the crap out. I I don't think that's, that's true. It's not the cucumbers. It work. You put something there to startle them because we tested our yeah. cats. Yeah, it doesn't work on the, just cucumbers or zucchinis. You think oh, no. zucchinis would work just as well, right? I have peas. My it's peas are already. Uh, I just had this too much peas today. Ruby, what are you puking up? <laughs> oh, there's there's some cat behavior. Look like at Carl. It's just so still. Look at him. Hello. Rent him, you can rent him out for pet sitting. <laughs> He's a pet. <laughs> Our cat was very polite and actually puked on the linoleum in the bathroom. So. Oh, it's not nice. That never that. happens. He did. I Look at these cats. <laughs> 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 the black oh, one's a lot bigger, a, huh? Uh, My cats need to be young like, like that. Yeah. Mine are all old. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Mine are old now. Good night. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. But look at how they're. Oh, gee. <laughs> the violence. Don't kill oh! Animals. Don't find his ass. <laughs> they don't care. How come they don't make any noise? I would think they. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> How could you let that happen to me? <laughs> so, Faith, I did not. I, I guessed NC State for the college that you drive by. NC State is in Raleigh. It's I like think I thought you guys were in Raleigh. We are in Raleigh, but not in Elon. Elon's oh. like two hours away from us. Oh, you said you drove by it every day. I do, I would drive when I went to college on my way to college. Oh. Hush, I, that was my intention. I was picking something in Raleigh because I thought. Pearl, are they siblings? Sorry, yeah. Robin. Sorry, Robin. They, they are litter mates. It's, it's the antibiotics I'm taking. Is itching. Yeah, your arm's gonna get tired of holding the camera. I don't want to talk about the trauma. Look at this. You can tell them that I. They got bit by a dog on Saturday. You what? My nephew's dog bit me on Saturday. Oh. It's very traumatic. Did you bite it back? Um, no, I did not bite her back. My dog bit me. But and last week. I have a big I'm on a crap uh, ton of antibiotics and it's not fun and I'm not happy. No, I bet it. not. Well, you're no. you're lucky. I have well, she didn't rip any tendons, but I've got two puncture wounds on my hand. What's happened to the dog? Um, well, I had to go to the She they've um she's quarantined for ten days, so she can't leave the house. But. I have expressed to my brother, my parents, and everyone that this dog needs severe rehabilitation and training. Otherwise, if, I'm not the first person to have bitten, but this is no worse. And I didn't do anything to provoke it. She thought I was going to take a toy as I was walking past her and didn't give a warning bark or anything, just lunged at me. And How big is the dog? She's probably 50 pounds. She's a pit bull terrier mix. Oh. So that's part of, but it's not the her problem. Fault. She's got anxiety and it's not being managed well. So. And this is your brother's dog? This is my nephew's dog. Yeah. My brother and my nephew's dog. Are there any young children in the household? Yes, there are. How old are they? Uh, two, four, and eight. And Ooh, three. that's yeah. a problem. I would. Trust me, I've already talked problem. about this and told them that they, for the sake of the dog and for the kids, they need to seek an animal behaviorist, which yeah. it's because the dog is doing this out of anxiety and fear. And like I talked about it with my therapist today and she's like, well, there's eight people in this small house and it's probably causing the dog stress. Yeah. It's like, I know. It should not be in that house at all. Yeah. yeah no, I know two no. people who try to raise pit bulls and they are tough. They, they she, both gave them away. She, she is not she is allowed to climb up on the bed like my mom will eat in her bedroom and she's allowed to climb up on the bed and she basically begs for food like she will smack her paw down huff and puff until you feed her 
It's so dangerous with the so there's kid. not there's not good boundaries with this dog, and I'm trying to work him. Yep. <laughs> so after the cat passes, I want to get a, get a dog, and I know that they're they're a lot of work. Like I want to get one that will run with me, and I'd like to get a poodle, and those require exercising at least an hour every day. And this dog, they my parents have they let her they spoil her, and what what it's allowed for her to get away with whatever she wants to and she doesn't under she can't handle being in 12 to 1300 square foot of space with eight people and kids doing they don't all. let her run the yard she does run the yard but the problem is she's got anxiety faith it's uh, it matters so much that there are little kids there and get that i yeah, I, know, that I, scares me. I i had the discussion either you get this dog in training you find a way to rehome her or if she or you may have to make the difficult choice to euthanize her if you can because so they're rescues they're people that are rescue american bulldogs and pits yeah it's, just, it's they don't my parents don't want to get rid of her but my, do I they like their? Kids, do they like their grandkids? Yeah, I was gonna say they're they they're choosing well, a dog well, over well, over their grandchildren's well, safety. Three of, them, three of the kids are not related to them. They're my brother's girlfriend's kids. Oh my! Wow. God. That's, how, that's how they're looking at it. They need, they need to move to out. They need to move out. The dog out need training. Their own the thing. dog owners need training. And what I told my mom is that this is not your dog. This is my brother's dog. But the problem is, and this is, the, and she, my mom was sitting there and witnessed this happen. So I think. Because she, because I got up out of the chair to go to the bathroom. I pet the dog, told her, you're a good girl. Turned and said, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Got up, put my hand down. And I guess she thought I was going to take a toy from her that she had had near her. And next thing I know, I have, like, I don't want to show you guys, but it's like in between these two fingers. And <laughs> she just clamped down and I'm sitting there going, there's a dog attached to my arm. Holy fuck. And I don't remember anything else. My mom said she started to jerk and she finally let go. And I looked down at my hand and there's two puncture wounds. I'm not bleeding. And then I'm like, I have a four-year-old in front of me. We need to get you out of this situation because she's looking like fucking Cujo right now. Is your brother reasonable? Can your brother see how insane this is? I, mm -hmm. but I, it's, I can't do anything about it. She's not my dog. I would not go to that house. You can, I'm yeah, sorry, I'm done. I'm not, can, I'm not gonna go back. Well, I can't trust myself around the dog anymore. Well, you can shut she, them out. You can, you can withdraw people. your lot. You can withdraw she, your company of your family and say, I'm not, you know, and then they'll and, be tempted and that's, and they that's, that's see you. Part. Like I talked to my therapist about it today. I was like, this, I love this dog, but I can't, I can't ever trust myself around her because she bit me without provocation. I didn't do any of the classic things that would have done this and her reaction towards something so minor was extreme. Like, I'm not even going to trust myself to be able to pet her ever. How old is the dog? She, I, I think my brother got her at the end of 2019. So she's basically hasn't had much socialization with other people or any role, anything. Like we took her to the mountains, of, I think 2021. And she couldn't handle us walking in front of her. Like she would start barking, pulling at the lead. My family was pretty resistant in getting her a crate and even getting one of those muzzles that you that just has a strap that goes over the nose. But now after this incident, my mom was like, well, maybe we should get one. And I'm like, oh, maybe. Good. Yeah, maybe you good. doesn't have to climb up on the bed and beg for food like this. Like this is a dog that will start pawing and trying to dig under a baby gate okay. and won't listen to but sit. But so you're talking it. like it's just any dog. This is She's not a terrier. This is a, this is an American. 50 pound dog. dog. Pit bull. They're yeah, different. Pit bulls, America, yeah, same. Yeah, pit bulls are hard. She's, She's a Staffordshire terrier mix. She's not, she's not like the bulky beefy, but it's, okay, if, but if it's you don't know what they look like, you wouldn't know. I know. Yeah. I mean, I had, um, when I was a parole officer, one of my offenders got a pit bull as a puppy. He lived in a very, I mean, an apartment of like a hundred square feet. Very, mm -hmm. very small. He would leave that dog in there while he was at work. That dog tore up heavy wooden door trying to get outside he had to give that dog away and then my 
a half brother mm -hmm. bought a pit bull and uh, he had to give that dog away before it was a year old. And he had more room than my offender did to raise that dog. And the dog seemed pretty sweet, but he was just tough to handle, very energetic. You could try a different, um, a different tactic. Um, you could say uh, to get uh, homeowner's insurance to make sure the dog is covered. And perhaps that the fact that the homeowner's insurance will not cover the dog and there's a financial risk, if they're not convinced by the danger to the small children, they might be inspired by thinking about that, the financial risk. Mm -hmm. Well, what my mom's doing for the time being is that they're keeping the dog separated from the small children. And she admitted to me on Monday that after I had left Saturday, the dog actually bit my brother on Sunday. Oh God. And I was like, this is, it's because it's, it's escalating. It's like, how bad did it hurt the brother? Um, he, child protective services. Yeah. Too. You could do that too. I was just well, saying the dog, the dog has been reported like, Animal control and everything is already involved. And this is being recorded. I'll do it. What's their address? I'll call. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand why anybody would risk a child like that. It's a yeah, it's, it's a it's a dog that a dog that is 50 pounds with a two-year-old will kill it. Mm -hmm. It's it's like having an AK, loaded AK 47 around, you know, mm -hmm. and you're letting the child be around it and this thing well we're going to keep them separated oh that no it just it lasts for sometimes it just takes you're laughing and this is like, ah, i don't want to talk about it it like stresses me the fuck out what you brought it up situation it's because my, it my hand is itching because of the stage of healing i'm at and it's like no mm. fucking fun it burns mm. well this has been a really downer <laughs> okay hold on a minute hold on a minute at least i'm not going to prison and i didn't pay a porn star one hundred thirty thousand dollars embezzlement money i can't wait to sit and watch and see what's going on but uh, i can't wait to see the faces he's gonna make yeah <laughs> he was saying that he's gonna use his mug shot as his election thing i think he, no he's yeah, already he gonna he's selling blue t-shirts they say he's making a ton of money off of this right now. And he's I'm selling sure he t-shirts. Well, $47 a, a shirt. Was it 40% of the Trump. company voted for the guy? He's got a lot of people. Thank you, Karen. Very money. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at those two. Have you seen the one where they jump in boxes and they use smaller and smaller boxes until the cat can barely fit in it? It's funny. Have you seen the ones where they set cups up to see how high the cats can jump? Yeah, I've seen those. And yeah. the cat, until they just like, come it, out I'm going to bulldoze it down. They pile okay. up toilet quick, paper rolls. Quick, and... someone someone, end this before someone brings up something else. I know, I know. Well, okay. How Every... I should get a poodle? We should get a poodle. They're very poodle, smart. You know what poodles are good? Poodles They're don't shed that much. And they don't shed. Yeah, and you can take them thing. running and hiking and give them And they're very protective oh, of their owners. Look at one Aww. guy. One guy entered poodles into the Iditarod once, and the only reason they didn't finish is because the snow was collecting in their uh, paws. Mm. Oh. We could get a poodle. And you got to get the right dog for the right household. I mean, it, they say it's not necessarily the dog; it's the owners and well, the way they're being raised and where they're at. A That's huge, the problem. Huge, huge portion of dog and pet behavior problems in general. Are directly related to people not knowing right. what to do, not right. doing the right. Right, thing. but if you've animals got a dog, yeah. right, but if you've got a dog breed like like Cindy's saying, this is not a and small there are dog cats that you can. Sinks. <laughs> cats and sinks. I mean, it's not like well, even with certain these are cats. big dogs. They're yeah, not, you have to be prepared for the psychology, right? Of the activity behavior. level. Well, it's like even with cats, you don't want to get a serval if you don't know that you're not going right. to be okay with having I mean, to not have the thing jump up on the counter. That's a much more aggressive cat. It's why don't you dog sit? Why don't you get a friend to let you dog sit and see what it's like for the? Yeah, that's a good He's idea. Petrified. He's petrified. He doesn't Exposure like dogs. Therapy. Exposure therapy. Faith. Well, Faith. Faith. He doesn't like dogs. Mm -mm. Well, then you. How can you get a dog if you're? Then get a cat. Yeah, you can't tell the dog. A cat, yet. and he didn't want a cat, and there was an get accident. Today, I brought the cat home. Get a hermit crab. Get fish. Well, 
Pull it on the you know behind you. Come out on what about one of those robot dogs? Crab, yeah. like you, like, you get a spider. And she would think of an AI. You know how unfun spiders are? You just maintain a terrarium and then you can accidentally get bit if they can't molt themselves. I know, correctly. but the You're human being bit. next to you, it doesn't like them. <laughs> so you but can't have just, a dog. I will just bring bring a dog. Be like, I'm babysitting. We've dog sat before in our house. Remember Brighton? With the little lazy eye, Kelly's dog that freaked the cat out. You were literally just bit by one of these things. <laughs> we could get a book. Keep going to the therapist, Faith. Keep going. That's, that's my, my little brother. I've had dogs all my life. It's not. That's it's, my little brother and my dog. Isn't that cute? I went, I get went a 39 goat. years without. A goat is a good idea. You could get a goat. We can't I, have goats. They're against our HOA covenant. Chickens, oh, chickens. We can't have chickens either. No farms, no um farm animals farm and livestock. Yeah. Dogs are farm animals. How about a turtle? Dogs are not farm animals. We could turtles are fine. I had a turtle. On the relative that died. Turtle. His turtle died. <laughs> of old days, right? Laughed. You killed your turtle. No, I, we left the turtle murderer. Okay, and there are cats and sinks. All right, there are cats. You know how to use the toilet. Yeah, even They're better. Cats, All right, cats are low maintenance. Yeah, I I think cats are. Yeah, I my cats are until he realizes that I, the cat that we have does not jump on furniture or do anything like that, and then lo and behold, we get a cat that climbs up on his desk and starts knocking shit over and looks at him while it's doing. My it's, cats have never knocked anything over. They've always been very delicate about stuff. I've never, I, I didn't understand. I've never understood that meme because I've never had a cat that knocked things yeah, over. Yeah, I mean, if you train, train your cat pointers. well. Well, I don't train them. They just don't. Rab I can't not respond to laser pointers. Rabbit. And mine doesn't either. They don't like laser I've, pointers. I've had cats my whole life. And yet when I got these cats, I still spent a couple of months before I got them reading up on the latest to see if, if anything I knew was no longer apical. Make sure I have Kevin is now showing the cat. latest theories Theodore. on cat training. Name that cat. Yeah. Sylvester. No, come on. Figaro. Oh, that's um, Figaro. 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 Galileo, 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 Galileo. Galileo From there. Pinocchio. Figaro. All right, you guys. Good night. Okay. Happy, Good. happy, um, happy um, in happy indictment. Happy last day of March. Don't make any bad jokes on people tomorrow or the oh, next God. day. Depending on where, what time. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> What's the saying? The card. Call, that's the yeah. um, that's Better Call Saul's card. Oh, Better it? Call Saul. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> Don't.